you guys okay last time you guys had all right roka came and you guys were just like hey we need to uh borrow your mom's Part of your mom's your mom's spark, so we can put it in this god slayer and use it. <laughs> That's basically what you asked her, and she was yep. like, "What?" <laughs> and for some reason, she hesitated. Yeah, <laughs> like, it's a mystery. Uh, in our defense, once we got more information, we did change the request. Um, and you know, it's a it's a request. Um. Also, there's there's a problem when typically a god slayer is powered by a spark. The god that bestowed the spark controls the god slayer. So in uh. this instance, without the god, we don't know what would happen. It's okay. <laughs> we know we got a soul that we need to be put. It's a, it's a fun experiment. <laughs> so yes, she was a, she was a little hesitant of giving you this without, you know, knowing if it would actually work. Also, Mallory, since you weren't here, um, mm -hmm. she was also going to try to collect collect enough sparks of her mom that she could put her mom back together again. And she feels like if she right. gave us the spark, it might put her back. So yeah. part of it was that she was trying to recreate her mom and might not be able to. Yeah, so. I mean, that's kind of the vibe that I was getting from before but i'm like listen uh this resource we got a right stole here. for you <laughs> <laughs> the resource is right here we gotta ask <laughs> oh yeah yeah that's very fair um so after after that and you know uh roka would consider it if you guys found a way to control the god slayer after a spark was instilled she'd consider it because you know like if the plane is destroyed then everyone is screwed anyways so if she could help in a in a fashion that would be beneficial and not just putting a just you know p empowering a possibly wild uncontrollable mountain of a construct okay, well when you put it like that it does sound a lot more dangerous <laughs> then she would she would consider it um after that uh you received a, you guys received a message that a latu uh the arakoka before you um a grandmaster of the way of long death was going to visit camp he had spoken to durga um the master of astro self earlier on and mm -hmm had an idea that might contribute to your splitting this old one up. Um, he had met with Aoife, and basically he showed her that it was possible to create two basically self-containing um, circulatory systems uh, within your prostate in a box. So when that happened, you can at this point, at key points, uh, possibly chop your little large old one into pieces and it not go kabooey which you know which seemed like a good idea and he was in the middle of t going um taking the first steps to teach Aoife how to do this there is only one problem um Latu had spoke about numbers of monks that could possibly learn this technique and the problem is that at the level that he and Aoife would be operating I believe I had said there were roughly about 25 people that could probably do this um, there are a lot more monks but the monks that you need are at such a high higher um, uh, power level essentially that there are not that many that could do this and also it's possible that once inside the old one whatever self defenses this old one has to combat those that have entered it probably would come into play as well 
Um, you don't ha you don't go into a giant beast of that magnitude and not come across hazards along the way. So, I mean, we've all question. played Final Fantasy X, so we know <laughs> what going into Sin is like. Yes. If we get to fight somebody as cool as Seymour with that rad boss track, I'll <laughs> I'll be cool with it. What did you say we all had done? Played Final <laughs> Fantasy X, which obviously not all of us have played, but I was making a yeah. joke. For me alone, potentially. No, 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 I understand. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Um, question. Mm -hmm. uh, is what the monks are doing considered a a magical thing? Can we enchant an item that could give somebody the ability to do this shit? So you would have to be a master of manipulating key to do this. Mm, which you can't really enchant. It yeah, it's, okay. it's, more, it's more taught over many, many, many years. Mm. It's a real shame all those masters got fucking d dead forever uh we do know somebody who can manipulate time though so we can just go back and be like yo hey all you 10 year olds get to work <laughs> unfortunately, oh my god unfortunately that one who can manipulate time uh is currently a 10 year old himself and also and the future version of him is currently busy know. with his own old one so oh, goodness you guys and your reasons why we shouldn't do <laughs> our all my terrible ideas come on <laughs> Um, but Latu and Ifo worked on the first steps of doing this um, key manipulation, so she can learn it. Um, so that's that. that you, you got that. So Latu did mention. Well, at that point, uh, once we were able to create uh, individual, essentially circulatory systems or plumbing systems within the old one itself, then you gotta have to hit it, chop it into multiple pieces. Which the problem is, old ones are regenerative, so you're gonna have uh. to have uh, probably a very big entity, several big entities, to make as as little you know powerful, precise cuts as possible. So you do get this entities in containment of themselves, um, which really really excited uh, Melanie's relic, being like. You know, we can we can be one of those entities. Um, hasn't achieved that level of uh, magnitude yet. We got pretty big, though. You got pretty big, though. Um, also, Rain was like, I mean, <laughs> Rain's right, Larak was like, well, we're going to have to find a way for this uh, thing, uh, Old One, to not GTFO while this is all happening. Because Old Ones are still capable of magic. <laughs> and a lot of them can probably teleport uh, so we gotta find a way to keep it here i mean i did it once but she doesn't remember how she did it um so too bad she said yeah who did it once and doesn't remember how uh rain's relic of uh, uh, gotcha gotcha that's she right she did that's it right. she did it to a she did it to a god that she was fighting Mm -hmm. or her her relic user was fighting and she does not remember how to do it um, but we're, that's where we are. Um, everybody's kind of relic drunk, so I can remember now. <laughs> sure, you can you can try. I mean, you can attempt to get your relic drunk. I don't know how that would look. I mean, would you just immerse your belt in like alcohol, like a hundred percent proof alcohol, and just like leave it there for leave like an there. hour? Yeah, I guess. Makes sense. No, what we do is we uh, have alcohol. We meditate with it. And we take it to the spiritual <laughs> side. And then they oh. I know Mallory slash uh, Satari would know what to do now. <laughs> of course, mm -hmm, of course, mm -hmm. of course. Um, but yeah, that's where we are. Um, we can have, we can, you know, it, it, is there anything people want to do? Any research that wants to be done? Any while well, like so, Aoife's doing their thing? Um, Go ahead. So there was one thing uh, I wanted to discuss with the group. Uh, we can mostly do it out of uh, character. I don't mind. Um, there is um, a... Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, Savion's Handbook of Investigative Techniques. Mm, right, uh, that thing. You guys should discuss about to... that. 
Bless huh? you? Um, <laughs> I, would as I assumed that um, Tilda would want to use it, since you get a plus to int. Well, hang on. Okay, so here's the thing. Um, it can give you a plus two... Oh, I'll it gives just... you a plus two int and um, wisdom. Yes, we, a thing we identified last time. Yeah, I'm, I'm, oh, sure, yeah, I'm just I'm thinking show, all these yeah, items. I'm, I'm, now. I'm showing Mal. I'm showing Mallory right now. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm reading. You're showing the, all the of us. Well, I said show the player, <laughs> so you might. I know. Uh, yeah, you can't pick. <laughs> I know. I'm. I'm teasing. Um, so that's the thing. Uh, so here's. Um, Tilda has already used a um, a book to increase her intelligence skill. Um, I or intelligence score, I should say. Um, I don't know if this will uh, clash with that. Um, I don't know if that's something that happens in D and D or in this uh, world. Um, and the DM's silence is very encouraging. Um, it doesn't say that it has a cap. Yeah, so... it says it's, no. yeah, there's nothing that says it has a cap. Um, I will say my intelligence right now is a plus one to my intelligence score is not going to do anything to my intelligence uh, uh, yeah. modifier. Um, um, the wisdom... I, um... I currently have the... everything even, so I wouldn't oh. benefit from it too much either. Aoife, um, would you get up to the next uh, thing on your wisdom if you had plus one? Uh, no, I am maxed out at wisdom right now, so I'm at an even 20. Mm, right, okay. so I would say what increasing my wisdom score would be great for me because uh, that would uh, at least increase my uh, cleric uh what's it called dc uh which right now is still not great um 16 yep uh right yeah i think yeah dm you also said that on the skills that if you had them you, you would gain extra... expertise yeah yes. and that's those are great for me too but i wanted to throw it out there to anyone else if this was like because again that intelligence increase by one is not going to do me any good it's just gonna you know make it so oh hey my intelligence score is 23 but it doesn't um, affect yeah. my modifier the plus ones right. don't help me i would get two more expertises mm. and i'm a monster that way but i don't really need it either but i would also be a monster that way you know on insight and deception, and I mm. got insight and perception at expertise. I um, most I would get out of it is expertise and insight and perception, which would put me at plus seventeens for those two. But I don't know if that's super important at this stage in the campaign. If the skills are important, I'm probably the best because I got you know reliable talent and nothing yeah. under ten, you know. But I don't think that's the main issue with. Uh, oh. Mel would gain pretty much nothing from that. I mean, obviously, I'd gain the proficiency in a couple things and um, or expertise in a couple, but um, I'm also at evens. Uh, I honestly think that um, having Tilda use it and getting a plus to the DC on your cleric stuff and some expertises is probably good because, uh, in my mind, I like spreading out those expertises a little bit, and it sounds like mm -hmm. Rain's already got a couple um, in that... Yeah. In that list, um, so I could have I seven that... instead of five. <laughs> well, and, and that would be nice. But I would think that um, I I think that Tilda would probably gain the most from it, and I'm fine with Tilda using it. Uh, Mel is not; it would not do anything for her. So, turning Rain into the new Kismet, <clears throat> just the ultimate thief. Hmm. Uh, uh, yeah, frankly, okay. at this stage in the campaign, I'd rather just have a, a full tome for Aoife to use mm. um, for dexterity or wisdom. Um, and because plus ones, because with the um, way I've got her built, her dex and wisdom are maxed out. Her strength is maxed out when she has her astral arms popped out, too. So, like, she's solid when it comes to 
stats right now unless it can be a, a dramatic increase. Makes sense. So. Um, by the way, Darren, uh, the you... Tome of Books, is it completely empty right now? Um, it is completely empty right now. Hmm. And I'll, I'll say Rain will call dibs on it in 60 years. <laughs> the Savion's Handbook of Investigative yeah. Techniques. Ethan Fair enough. Will probably be dead in 60 years. <laughs> hey. In 60 years, that'll put her in her, her late 70s. Mm. She's just a human. That's not. Thought, we'll, we'll just pump you monks. full of uh, potions of. Uh, I don't feel the effects of old age, but I still get old. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's not like the druid it. thing where you yeah. just kill over one day. Yeah, no, yeah, it's man. you're a really, really spry grandma right until you croak. Oh, yeah, nice, nice. So I can be doing backflips on my deathbed and nobody would know I'm sick until I'm <laughs> gone. <laughs> you're just in a marathon and all of a sudden it's just like, oh, I think it's my time. Goodbye. Exactly. I'm going to check out now. All right. So nobody else wants the handbook of investigative techniques. It's all yours. All yours. Okay. Just wanted to make, sh want to run it past everybody, just in case. So, like on that library, insert in the front, write your name down, and then I'll we'll put Reigns right under it. You know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> on that whole. Um, <laughs> would the uh, harmonious bookmark work on the handbook? Probably not, because harmonious bookmark is for attuned items. Mm-hmm. And technically, the handbook is not a tuned item. That is correct. Hmm. Would the um, harmonious bookmark? I don't remember. Yes, we're doing uh, this again. The uh, the Ion's tome that I have access to. I'm not technically attuned to that, am I? No, you technically right now you're not. Okay. But you could be. I could be. You could be. <laughs> Um, all right. That was the big thing that I really wanted to talk about. Uh, as for this tome of books, I'm scared of it. So, yep. Um, huh. there's a really weird noise going on. It might be me. No, no, it's outside my house. Oh, okay. It's like a warm, warm, warm sort of noise. Mm hmm. Probably something idling outside. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. But still. Um, like now, FYI, Mallory, we used a spell of yours. We opened the Magnificent Mansion up. Okay, that's fine. Um, Because we were going to do like some hardcore planning, mm -hmm. and Mel didn't want us to be overheard um, by... Whoever the fuck just happened to be around. So Yeah. Yeah. I was about to up. say, would I have been able to do that? But then I realized uh, I do have a higher level spell slot than seven because I did teleport us that day, but that's fine. Uh we were fairly certain you hadn't used any, as uh, but we were also just kinda like, Yeah, I don't think she used uh anything. Uh, no, I didn't use uh I didn't use my <laughs> eighth level slots, I'll just mark that off. But also, I think it's going into evening now, so hopefully we don't get ambushed in the middle of the night. I don't know. Probably not. I just, I like to keep track of it in case. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, I want to send sending. Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> um. So after, because I know that, like, as the the evening wore on, um, Aoife was training with our air coker friends and mel was getting big and drinking some stuff uh that we don't know what was right in it oh my god <laughs> um anyway um oh uh, uh, <laughs> yeah um tricking your you're just take, taking my pyramid homeopathic bullshit <laughs> mel, really tricking um, your, a Reddit uh, post somewhere yeah, tricking your partner into testing out your homemade remedies. 
Dear Reddit, Fine. am I the asshole? I... <laughs> I'm not going to never go on Am I the Asshole because they're just going to say yes. Take medicine. <laughs> am I the Asshole is my guilty pleasure. It's Same. <laughs> I know it's all bullshit. I love it anyway. Um, I, uh, Mel, after she does all her, you know, in beginning drinks, sports drink, question mark, uh, gets Very. big and, you know, just kind of tosses some stuff around for a while. Uh, she's kind of shrink back down, and uh, at this point, the mansion's been up for, I'm guessing, a couple hours, but it's, I would assume, going strong. Um, is everybody else still kind of hanging out in the mansion or whatnot? She's going to try to find everybody, basically. Yeah, Tilda's, uh, I believe we established that Tilda was writing spells into her book. That would be a sensible use of her time. I mean, if you find one of the, honestly, if you just ask for one of the servants to appear, they will appear and they will gather us well i can only assume i'm still training yeah well and she'll kind of like um <laughs> she'll go into the mansion and just be like hey servant uh look where is everybody and she'll kind of like she's not gonna summon you guys but she'll just kind of like find each of you and see if she can be like hey and if you come come into this room and she's gonna kind of slow slow motion gather everybody together hey what do you got in your ear come here Oh, baby, baby, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Did you cut That's, yourself? Um... Oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, I'm not hurting you. I was just... Oh, she... I'm sorry, baby. We'll put some stuff on that. Um, Sorry, I found a cut on my dog, and I had to check out what was going on. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, She's got... Yes, uh... we were all here for the entire conversation. Yeah, well, <laughs> I thought I'd give you the context. I'm very sorry. Um... <laughs> Uh, so Mel is gonna, once everybody kind of comes in, she's gonna say, I have maybe an idea. Um, I know that you guys are going to be doing a lot of, you know, diplomacy things and uh, research things and magic things, and I don't really have much skill in that, but I had an idea. Um, I think that if we need to have large, precise cuts done, and also we just need, you know, as many allies as we can get, and we know that dragons might not really be on the table since that whole, you know, turning to stone thing is a big deal, I was thinking that we should maybe see if we can get in touch with some storm giants. They're, to my knowledge, some of the bigger giants. And, you know, I think that they are, you know, usually not, you know, gonna eat people, to my knowledge. Um, and so I was thinking that maybe myself might go as, like, a emissary, see if we could, like, find some. I don't know where I'm gonna find them, and uh, that's my whole plan. Right there, laying you it out. You don't know any storm giants, personally, so you're just going to walk up to their house and say, knock, knock, hello, help us save the world? 100%, yes. <laughs> Sounds like a solid plan. Yeah. I mean, basically, I, I'm thinking that they, like, like most races have, you know, some sort of, uh, you know, there's usually a village of them somewhere, or a city, or a hierarchy, or somewhere. I could be like, yo, you're the mayor of Giant Town, and would you like to help save the world? Question mark. And they'll be like, of course, we're big and nice. And then I'll be like, awesome, here's our plan. And they'll be I like, don't... that's amazing, you're amazing, we're going to give you all this chocolate. It's and... a high level overview, Zatari. <laughs> <clears throat> um, yeah, Zatari's going to stop herself from saying, uh, <laughs> I don't know if they're all friendly, uh, but <clears throat> doesn't, um, isn't uh, Deacon's master, Mr. Big grin or something. Um, it's the big grin. A yes. giant. <gasps> yes. Um, I'm struggling to remember whether he, what sort of giant he was. Um, he... I think he might be a frost giant. He was a frost giant. Yeah, if he was a storm giant, that would be entirely too large to come anywhere near the cave. Mm. I think. <laughs> Damn, also, good. DM, I'm assuming that anything I just spouted out was probably pretty much like 
uh, a, like a, I don't think I was metagaming, but if I, at any point I said anything metagaming, just I mean, let me know. Let me put like, it this way: you, you've, you guys have accumulated so much fucking knowledge at this point. <laughs> Yeah, I was thinking that the knowledge that storm giants are big was okay. So, yeah, uh, I would imagine we might kind of turn to Tilda. Is there any sort of relation between like storm giant clans and Leona or anything or Ooh. history or? I mean, I don't oh, know. Oh, sure. Now <laughs> we want my history. <laughs> um, we use your history all the time. I know. Hey, we I'm used just... it when you weren't here that one time. Yeah, I know. Um, all right, can I roll a history check yep. to see if I don't know if there is a history between Leona and any of the storm giants or frost giants or <laughs> we find out the history is giants. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right, just some really Other... tall people. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, yeah, this group of giants helped us. And then we go there and they're like seven foot tall humans. And we're like, oh. Mm -hmm. oh I will also uh, add to that. You are. And, uh, pause it out loud. Um, since we have connections with the dwarves and they're around a lot of mountains, would we be able to use our connections there maybe to do something about giant allies? Oh, maybe. Um, DM, can I? Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah, roll I, something? I, yeah. You can roll history check about the storm giant thing, or uh, giant history in general. Okay. Uh, most four. storm North storm <laughs> giants are rumored to live in Al Gore in the mountainous regions. Oh, there of to course the they do. <laughs> Motherfuckers! Everything comes back, back to Al Gore. We got to get through those walls. Damn it! <laughs> That's a, an extremely inconvenient truth, Jared. <laughs> I mean, honestly, if you have somebody to blame, it would be Brandon because he is the one who wrote up the history of Al Gore. Of course he did. All right, All right, Brandon, we just walked with you for a minute. So, yeah, he better be ready for me to question all of his world-building decisions. Um, as with other giants, um, most of them don't really get along with... Um, there's, like, that eternal, like, ri rivalry between just any other giant and dwarves that have go been going on for eons. Yeah, that sounds about Ooh. right. Um, I mean, storm giants... But... However, um... <gasps> really? Yeah, yeah. However, storm giants are not as... How do I how how do I put this without sounding like a fucking colonizer? <laughs> oh, just say it. Un, just say it. Un uncivilized as their brethren. <laughs> sure, that's okay. Yeah. I mean, let's be honest. When you say civilized, I think you're talking about like comparing storm giants to hill giants, and hill giants are like yeah, they, they they're not they're civilized. notoriously pretty stupid. Let's just be yeah. real. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they're they're famous for being hungry and dumb. So. <laughs> Um, but storm, storm, storm giants, cloud giants—they're usually more put together. I guess would be the the term I'd use. More willing to negotiate. Yeah, more willing rather to than willing kill. To, yep. So it's just more lawful. Willing to negotiate. Well, yeah. and then I guess even just saying having like a more obviously established hierarchy and government would also make a if, if that's kind of what you're going with too like that would make sense yeah pretty um, much. <clears throat> and you said that the storm giants are known to be in the mountains of al gore yep. um okay i did not write this <laughs> um yeah, and i sure just want to blame your husband well i mean now... he always takes credit for like this shit <laughs> <laughs> take the blame as well um <laughs> So Al Gore, it, is there just like a travel pass? Like no. we can't just go there, right? Like, I mean, we know some people that are from Al Gore, namely, uh, shit. Her name starts with an I. Lady. Isadora. Yeah, Isadora. Yeah, thank, yeah, you. Yeah. thank you, thank you. Namely, shit. <laughs> um, and uh, 
the dragon that she knows, so there's a potential in that way. But and we if so long as you know, we know some dragons who aren't stone, they might be willing to help out, but I also understand if they're like, nah, <laughs> we're good, you handle it. Yeah, yeah. Well, and DM, you said that the to be turned to stone, they had to know your name? Yes. Was that what they were using? Okay. Yeah, their true name. So, I mean, I can see you wanting to... Well, and we don't have inf any information yet on if it was affecting any dragons in other planes, were we? You don't, we have that information? You don't have that information. All you know is it hit um, it hit the brass dragon that um, is related to Bryn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Um, and there have know, been rumors that has hit, been hitting other metallics in Skorok as well, but you, that you have not neither confirmed those rumors as of yet. Well, I'm thinking Nor that it's possible that some dragons may have tried to go onto other planes like the Feywild or um, like water or fire or whatever depending on their element because it might not travel between planes and they might want to get a little further away just in case. Um, so I can see where dragons might not be as easily uh, talking to shit. Um, though obviously if we found any that'd be cool too. We could try to get them talked into some BS. Um, what about, uh, DM, do we know anything about if there are any friendly relations between Frost Giants and the Dwarven cities that we've been to? I mean, Derek did just say that Dwarves and oh, Giants yeah, yeah, yeah. are notoriously at loggerheads, so... Ooh, loggerheads. Um, okay. So Obviously, we know that they tend to be over in the Al Gore area. Do I know of any giants that are associated with the monastic tradition? Or have heard of any? <laughs> like a, a, a giant monk? I don't know if there's anything scarier or a than grand the idea master of a giant or something. monk. I know! There might be one. I just need to look up his information. To see if it's considered we, giant. Okay. We should also um, see if we can send the sending to Deacon wow. and speak with um, his buddies, his his friend. Uh, um, I think big, I have. I can uh, big uh, master breaker and yeah, big I could I you. can send uh, sending. I have slots. Well, and also there's there's not a um a huge oh yeah uh, not a huge rush right. We, we can't even talk to him at the moment so. Yeah. But speaking of giant people, it's making me think of the giant lady that I know, uh, which would be Nick Nevin. So I'll have a Ooh. chat with her after um, this as well. Nick Nevin is your patron? Question mark? Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. I wasn't sure if she was considered your patron or not. I couldn't remember. Yep, she is. And uh, I don't remember when we mentioned this, so you might have been here, you might not have, Mallory. Uh, we did also suggest bringing in the giant sentient cows. Oh, no, I was not here for that. <clears throat> Any planning that happened last time, I wasn't here for it. So. I couldn't remember when we mentioned it. Uh, so I didn't know if it was last session or before. <laughs> so uh, I did suggest that we try to bring those giant <laughs> oxen in. Okay. So, um, Aoife, he would be considered uh, a giant. Uh, he's not exactly a giant in the traditional sense. Um, okay. Let me roll a history check to know how much you would know about him. Ah, oh, jeez. That is plus zero. Can I give um, a help action of some sort? I, I like will allow it. Okay, so advantage. All right. See if it helps. I had to refresh the page. You know, just on the off chance. It's a game of dice. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Plus zero. Um. 
you know there's somebody he might be considered in like what's called an animal lord but you can't quite remember his name yeah. animal lord big animal lord guy i don't know <laughs> i'm a little tired from all the training today i mean if you give me that information i can help out with it because um i would be familiar with the fact that there's fey animal lords if only for the fact that we had to deal with the bear one. <laughs> mm. That's true. Yeah, if you guys know anything else about big animal lords that also are monks. Uh, otherwise, I'm out. Like, I don't... I'm extremely tired from all the training today. I had to master a whole new technique in, uh, like, eight hours, so... Yeah, I will, um, <clears throat> I'll just, uh, you know, start lighting some incense and getting settled in to do my little, uh, you know, astral meditation thing to okay. commune with my patron. Okay, uh, you go ahead and do that. I can always cast Legend Lore, too, um, if that doesn't work. Mm-hmm. You ever prepared today? Probably not. Isn't it a divination spell? Uh, yes. Neutral. Don't you always have divination spells prepared, or you just get them for free? You get them for half cost. Ah. I get them for half cost in my book. That's uh, it. That's high that's enough it. knowledge cleric, I think, gets legend or already always prepared. Yeah, that's, yeah. Okay, so you're kind of settling, doing your meditation thing to see if you can contact Nick Nevin? Mm-hmm. All right. Legend uh, Lore should be a ritual spell, damn it. All right. It isn't? It isn't, mm -hmm. no. Huh. That's... It's because it gives so much information, I think. Mm. Weird. So you are concentrating and... When you like, we, you're pretty sure you're still in your own in the ritual room. But when you like open your eyes, um, you are uh, you are on the mountain where Nick Nevin um, stays with her coven. Mm -hmm. Except there's a problem. Oh no! <laughs> um, oh no! The wind is, even though she's near, like near, like near the probably bottom midway up a mountain the wind is absolutely howling around you oh that's not um, good like your hair nearly comes un undone just by the force of it it's very difficult it is probably just like a fucking nest yeah now <laughs> it's it's very it's very difficult for you to keep your footing i mean you're no you're not in danger of blowing away but if you've experienced like going against like very like strong winds uh -huh. it feels uh -huh. like that yeah um yeah. and just about as you're about to trip up on yourself a little bit um there's a hand that reaches out for you and like pulls you like along the side of a rock wall and into the cave itself mm -hmm. and there is nick nevin her hair even Imagine that my face is just full of hair it's, like there's not e you can't even see my face anymore it's full of hair there's like dirt clinging to your hair at this point mm -hmm. as well because the dust has like whipped is whipping around so badly outside it's just creating mini tornadoes Oh my god. And like everybody that was part of the coven is in like near the middle or back of the cave at this point. Good lord. And Nick Nevin's like you Okay, have... but what does Nick Nevin's hair look like? Oh, it's like just you, it's a nest. It, it could look it looks like multiple birds can live in this thing at this point. I'm she... just furiously <laughs> prestidigitating it to get the dust <laughs> out. Um I'll deal with whatever it looks like later. Okay. Uh, and Nick Nevin says, you have the most impeccable timing. Oh, yes, I was, <laughs> I mean, I would love to know uh, what's, what's happening. Well, um, it's been like this for the past uh, half an hour now. 
Oh, okay. So this is very recent. This Lovely. Is, oh, this is very recent. Um, if you had been outside a little longer, you would have seen the multiple air elementals that are that are now gracing our plane. I'm. Mm -hmm. uh, are have they have have they fled the. Uh, plane of air no uh, quite quite the opposite uh the plane of air made a pit stop here okay the barrier between the plane of air and the Feywild temporarily phased into itself if uh. if that explains things it's no longer here but um. a lot of the residents are still here so that's very intriguing. So um, we're trying to take care of that for now, and so are some of the other fey lords and ladies at this point. Uh, is there a particular reason why that happened? I'm, or is that just something that happens on occasion? No, this, here? this this should not happen at all. Yeah, that tracks. Um, um, uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a coven member who brings you a cup of tea. Uh, th thank you, Elise. Um, so, um, what did you need? <laughs> uh, well, um, <clears throat> this is going to be unfortunate timing to request aid, but it's not like we need it immediately, immediately at least. Um, let me uh, fill you in on the past, um, I don't know, couple weeks couple days uh however long it's been because i know that like when we um found out like that shit with the old ones was going down mm -hmm. uh i told her what was going on um so i'll let her know like hey this is where we are um we are working on this plan for various uh uh destructions of old ones without actually killing them and such, <clears throat> and the uh, difficulty that we're having with certain aspects of it, because you know we're only small, tiny creatures, not big, massive ones. Mm -hmm. So, I see. And also, do you happen to know? Um, I know that there are um, fey animal lords, mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> and Ifa, um, a friend of ours. Um, She's a monk, mm -hmm. and has heard that one of the animal lords is a very large monk person, potentially. Oh, almost certainly not. She the bear lord. No, 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 no. She must be. She must be thinking of Brother Ox. Hmm. Um, he is a. I Brother Ox. He is a wealth of knowledge that often is can be found in a, on a mountain top, uh, a little to the north of here. Um, he generally keeps to himself um, something about challenges of worthiness and 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 whatnot. But he is the only animal <coughs> animal lord that I can recall that is m monk like. <laughs> Mm. Um, and I believe I'm sure you understand we need uh, as many um, adept key manipulators as we can and, get our hands on and he would indeed be one of those yes that's fine thank you um, would there be a way to obviously I'm not physically <laughs> in the Feywild at the moment so I can't uh, request a physical audience with him but would there be a way to speak with him some kind would we have to visit the plane or you would probably have to visit the plane and go atop the mountain to find him he rarely takes uh, he rarely leaves uh his his monastery would you be willing to not necessarily take us there but at least guide us um if this is an avenue we wish to explore i can if the winds die down a little bit, now that the plane of air has phased out, <laughs> <laughs> um, I can have Peanuts take you to the mountain he is located at. Um, he he can take you part way. The rest of the way, you'll probably have to go on your own because it will be danger very dangerous for him. Oh, of course. Um, 
I, as long I, as you I, know. Yes. We don't have to walk all the way there. Oh, no. We don't necessarily have the time to go through all of the Feywild like we did before. So you mentioned that you needed large allies? Yes. Well, the um, old one that we're trying to deal with currently is about the size of a city. Well, um, Thousand Branches does owe you a debt. Who? Oh, yeah. Okay, never mind. I remember, I remember. And if you do recall, he is a giant tree dragon. Yeah. Oh! Sorry, did. It's, like, it took me a second, but yeah. I mean, you did instill him as a fey lord, and mm -hmm. as debts are in the fey while, um, you could go and collect. It would be probably a wise course of action. Uh, and <clears throat> while we ask him, we could then, uh, try to meet this brother Ox for assistance as well. Um, but when the time comes, um, I will assist you as well. Thank you. It is greatly appreciated. I know you can use all the help you can get. And we are all <sighs> probably doomed if you don't succeed. <laughs> So this is true. I would be a fool now, not to help you. In the in theory, if the material plane were to be like collapsed, would it collapse some of the connected planes like the Feywild or the Shadowfell? It'd have to, right? Because yep. like, yeah, the Feywild and connected. Shadowfell are inextricably connected. Mm -hmm. The material, or at least okay. it would change mm -hmm. it. So if your plane plane if the material plane collapses, the shadow fell and Feywell are screwed. Yeah, they're going with it. Okay. <clears throat> um, was there any anything else you'd like to discuss? Is there, uh, this is going to be a Mallory to DM question. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like there is, but I don't know if I'm forgetting something important that I need to talk to her about. Oh. If uh, not, then. I, I, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um. Would we have asked about the big oxes? Not, not brother ox, but the... Oh, the, oh, the giant well, the, 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 the Your sentient oxes. <laughs> no, I think we need to go talk to them directly. Um, <clears throat> seeing now, is they are... Nevin in the Shadowfell or isn't she in, is she in the Feywild? She's the Feywild. Shadow Feywild. Feywild. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. One second. I had to take my medicine. Um, uh, um, not particularly. I know that, um, one of our allies, uh, their patron is... I believe uh, White Ice Dragon mm -hmm. um, in the northern areas of the Feywild, but I'm not sure if you would be allies with them or even know who they are. I I can't I can't say I do. I know there was I know there was a White Dragon to the north some time ago, but. I think they had fallen. Am I, am I forgetting something that we we knew about, Darren? So, uh, Alexandria had come with Iskin and Theo right. mm -hmm. to get the white crystal. Oh, yeah, that's right. And okay, she went okay. specifically to the Feywild. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I remember now. That was um, a while back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, and so we were I told remember... about it, but we weren't, like, involved, so... Yeah, yeah. Like, I just couldn't remember, because, like, essentially my instinct was, I think that this dragon is dead, but I can't remember, so... <laughs> yeah, this dragon, yeah, from what Nick Nevin has heard, um, the, that dragon no longer graces the north. Okay. Um, all right, then I think we will... I will uh, reconvene with my allies, um, and I suppose we'll probably be making plans to come to the Feywild. All right, I to will entreat some individuals for assistance. Well, I will prepare for your return, and I will make sure 
and just kind of like casually points to the outside of the cave. Me and the other Fey Lords and Ladies will make sure that this mess is dealt with temporarily, and hopefully, and it doesn't happen again. <laughs> yes, and um, very good luck with that. <laughs> Thank you. Um, you don't need anything from me, do you? No, no. It's a few stray air elementals and some. I've heard there's some Jin to the south, but I think the River King is taking care of those. Hmm. But you, you have a lot on your plate already. I'll, I'll let you know if and you need anything. We, I need right. anything from you. Yeah, I know, I know what you meant. Um, uh, Zaytar will give a nod and then say, uh, "Very well. It was a pleasure speaking with you again. Good luck with your endeavors with uh, the uh, air elementals that you're dealing with, and uh, hopefully we'll talk again soon." Mm -hmm. All right. And when you reopen your eyes, you are back in your meditation circle i group. immediately touch my hair and start, like <laughs> just instinctively fixing it yeah your hair is fine yeah i know it's just kind of like one of those things where i'm like oh my god <laughs> i know this is kind of inherently badass but saying i'll let you know when you need something yeah i know <laughs> <laughs> it's actually kind of sounds like I'll let you know when you need something it's like okay my man gotta mansplain my own needs mm -hmm. to me cool um or I it's guess a face different coming from your face. Yeah, face. Yeah, face plane. <laughs> um, all right, I'll fill everybody in with uh, what happened. Um, Ooh. And who we can talk to. Marvelous. I did enjoy going to the Feywild. Very interesting, colorful, weird. And Aoife, this will be your first time if we decide to go. Yeah. Um, question about the Feywild. Yep. Um... This is mostly for the group, because Eve has never been. Um, if we go there, time gets fucked up, right? <laughs> it, uh, it, and I was with, yeah, thinking with, of that, too. I, I would think that um, we might be able to get it around that by maybe the help of Zaitari's patron. Yeah, I yeah. didn't last time when we came back... Um, Nick Nevin was able to limit it so that we wouldn't get like I believe so. hundreds of years in, like yes. like just to be kind of like within a reasonable frame of time. Mm -hmm. So as long as we're not like on a super time crunch, we should be okay. Yeah, and um, assuming that sorry, <clears throat> Saitari will say, um, assuming that we will have. Um, uh, uh, a thousand branches? Is that what you said? Yeah. His name is okay. We have thousand branches on our side. Seeing he is also a Fey Lord, um, will undoubtedly be beneficial to us and not getting completely fucked time wise. So, but if we do, then I guess we'll have to send out an emergency signal um, to uh... oh god damn it. Bro, who am I thinking of? I have no idea. Time kid. Oh, Galloway. Oh, Galloway. <laughs> Time child. Um, <laughs> but yeah. So. Uh, yeah. So I I do remember that we were able to minimize time issues last time. I think that last time we were gone for like what five minutes or something. Yeah, we were not gone for very long at all. Because. I've never been, um, but I've heard stories about it and like stories of people going and then when they come back, their kids are all grown up. Yeah, you know? that was that was very much of major concern for us leaving the Feywild. So we were very happy to have assistance on not being gone for very long. Um... <clears throat> Thinking, I, I swear that when we went, they even like whoever had us go was like, yo, we'll try to keep this close but i might be misremembering too i don't think so but essentially i i do remember zaitari being like if we go to dig nevin she might be able to help us <laughs> so <coughs> one of those kind of deals yeah, as long as we have a plan to not completely fuck up the whole saving the world thing <laughs> by popping over to the fate wild real quick no we Sorry, should we'll come uh... back 50 years later and everything she's fine skynet no, has taken be, over yeah, everything I'm... 
turns out we all weren't the, necessary at all. No. <laughs> all the people that we got together were like, yeah, we did it without you guys. It sucked, but uh, <laughs> okay. I do think we also all made our roles to remember the fact that we were in the Feywild. I think we had to make those. Yeah, we still had to make those. I remember making them. Yeah. Well, while if we were to go to the Feywild, we could get some assistance, try to meet with his brother Ox, get the assistance of this Thousand Branches, see if we wanted to meet with those cows that we made smart. Um, the cows are like the size of a hill. Yeah. Oh yeah, they were they were very 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 big very cows. big. Uh, since Eva was not with us at that time, so I was I was like you know a big. Uh, I do have questions and potentially concerns about big cows being precise oh they might not be precise but here's the thing um they're really big and it could be useful even if they're not making like precise cuts to just have some strength and and mass on our side maybe uh and they've got mass in spades so... it's something to think about and honestly, they might not be able to help. You know, it might be something that they're, they're too... Uh, you know, they might not really be combat-oriented. They're very chill. Last time we saw them. Honestly, we had more trouble with the ticks on the backs than them. So... Oh, oh God, this. don't remind me. <laughs> I mean, too late, but you know. <sighs> You're welcome. Wouldn't, didn't we fight a tiger feed? Yep. That's okay. I wasn't gonna say it. Hades is making the most interesting stretch right now while he's sleeping. Um, can I also send a sending to Isadora? Mm -hmm. Because probably contacting her would be <laughs> wiser if we need to... Uh... <sighs> I was wondering what the giggling was about, and I'm like, oh yeah, that's right, I showed those pictures. <laughs> um, uh, because we could teleport to her mm -hmm. if it's somewhere that we can get to. Um, He's a door is the one I... that can get us an end to Al Gore, maybe, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna just type it out to you because I'm having a hard time yep, thinking of fine. the words. Okay. <sighs> Anybody else can talk if they want to while I'm thinking about this. We um, know we can. It's just editing range uh, playlist. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Currently gently stabbing a tiny alpaca. A uh, llama. Oh. More of a llama. Oh my god, I saw a newborn, a, a video of a newborn alpaca. Those things are hideous. <laughs> yeah, they are. Because uh, they are just like damp noodles. Like, they, <laughs> I didn't realize, here's the thing, I didn't realize how much of an alpaca is the fluff part. Mm -hmm. And so Ooh, when you yeah. see one that's wet and newborn, you're just like, oh, it's all legs and neck and this one's gooey. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. uh, it was weird. Real weird. I told Kelly that if we ever uh, move somewhere with land, I'm going to get an alpaca and just start making my own yarn. And he was like, yeah. Like, you would put that much work into it. And I was like, well, you're not maybe wrong, but they're cute. And I don't think they're edible. And he's like, all animals are edible. <laughs> I mean, he's not uh, wrong. He's not wrong. But, <laughs> I mean, I think that most animals that are used for wool are more useful for wool than their meat. Uh, yes, very much so. They've kind <laughs> of been bred lamb? that way. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's a reason people eat lamb and not, like, adult sheep. 
Yeah. I mean, gaminess is a factor, of course, but... I guess, yeah. Uh, it's mostly that it's tough, but yeah. Yeah. I mean, or you can get a fucking Angora rabbit. Those things are crazy looking. Or you can get yourself a couple long hair cats, and I'm sure you'd be able to have enough... Uh... Uh, I'm gonna be honest. Yourself yarn, so. I uh, so I've been doing the needle felting stuff where you just literally just use bump, like chunks of uh, wool, and I was brushing Tano the other day, and I was like, I could needle felt shit out of you. I mean, uh, I mean, yeah. isn't there like I've seen like those books on Amazon how to make stuff with your cat's hair? Yeah, mm. I, it's just not very like hygienic to me. Like, our, my mm. dog is not that clean. Oh, you he rolls it. around outside. Oh, I would wash the fur before I used it. Yeah. Oh, like well, I think once you um, spin it, you can wash the uh, the yarn. I know you can mm. wash it some way. You so. know you could spin a uh, husky fur. You could definitely felt it. Well, um, you're good that. Could spin it. Corn chip smell? <laughs> <laughs> That's just the feet. <laughs> yeah, it's not. Um, all right, sending has been done. Um, Isadora can meet us back at the keep. Uh, I'll, we can let her know when is convenient, uh, but she can get us in, so. All of us or just some of us? I said and companion, so all of us. Okay, cool, cool. I mean, plus seven. No. <laughs> I didn't say how many companions. You could show up with an arm. But I think that would uh, be breaching <laughs> the lines of uh, confidence there. Yeah, I feel like we might get in trouble for that. So, I guess it depends on if we need to do anything else um, here. Uh, if not, I can teleport us back to the keep in the morning, uh, send Isadora ascending now, and let her know that we'll be there within 12 hours. Um, I think that somebody had mentioned, I don't remember who it was, I don't know if it was our Eric Hooker friend or somebody else had mentioned us trying to see if the dragons that protect this continent would be willing to assist with everything. Latu said he could try to talk to a few of them to see if they could help. Okay, so that's not something we do. He going to help us with it? Yeah, because gotcha. um, yeah, because the 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 people of this continent are more on. They're more familiar with the with the dragon guardians. They also don't seem to speak our common, mm -hmm. so it would make sense. Uh, we might be done with just about everything. <laughs> here. I don't know. Don't we still have to kill the uh, uh, guy who came out of this door? No. Oh, I thought we gave up on that. No, we gave up on that. <laughs> yeah. I intimidated him. I'm hoping that we'll keep him away. Uh, though we did suggest at one point scrying on him, and I don't think we ever got around to it, because I don't think it's... I don't know if we've done a long rest since then. No, Tilda yeah, didn't have it prepared, have. so... So if we wanted to try to deal with that thing, um, we could, you could prepare scrying tomorrow and we could scry on him and see if we could figure out where he was. Um, but right now we don't know where he got to. I just don't want to leave these guys with that, you know? Yeah, no, no I, Mel absolutely would be thrilled to go do that but she's uh understanding that it might have gotten away for good so we'd have to just see if we could find it or not i will say did we send did we tell them where it like left to and send anybody up to like try to track it at all did we do that i know no. we told them about it but i don't remember what all we told them we're not entirely sure where it went yeah, well, mostly we know just where if we you lost see it, it, don't engage because it will kill you. So, yeah, I remember we told him that, and then I I know that we know where we lost its track. So we know 
kind of where it went above land. And we could have told him that. I would guess that we did. Um, I think you told him the area, so I can just put that as a note. Um, <laughs> you could talk to your chief of security about that. Um, why don't we try to scram it tomorrow, and we'll see if we can see where it might be. And if we can go and kill it, that'd be great, because I have a feeling that we want these allies to not be dead. Um, Vitari is pretty much just of the opinion, um, if it's not going to bother them, then they'll be fine. Um, well, Mel's <clears throat> worry is that with it trying to uh, make a DIY Godslayer, that it might come back to this area because it might want more of the information it found here, more of the magic, like it could be a threat if it was trying to make its own god slayer which it was obviously trying to do yeah so um, zaytari will send a sending back to um isadora and let her know that we'll be back in the keep within 16 hours but i might send her another sending and let her know if we get delayed okay she uh, she'll she'll be on standby. And um if she gets there, um just tell um like Chambers. gets there before us, just tell Chambers that um your personal guest of um the heroes of Leona. <laughs> so But also we should tell Chambers to keep an eye on her just in case. I'm out of sending. So if you want to do that, go ahead. <laughs> I'm out of spell slots for sending. I do not have sending prepared. Because, yeah. Okay. Um, all right, so you guys rest for tonight? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. You can go ahead and hit the long rest button on your character sheet. Nice. Right. Zaitari, you get a sending from Morley. The, okay. the, the wizard who, like, is working no, on your know. ley line. Yourself. Yeah, yeah. Um, I heard for a second I heard Orly, and I said, excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who's back? Uh, <laughs> I'd be okay with some ghost turtle. I'm also okay with ghost turtle. Why is it a ghost turtle? We died of old age. Zombie turtle, then. Fine. Um, Orly? And, what this, was... and this is the message... Or this is the or message you get. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, 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 I was thinking of your turtle that died of old age. Ronnie. Ronnie. <laughs> Ronnie. Ronnie. Gosh, I'm so bad with names. I, yeah, I, uh, I am too. <laughs> Part of my brain Weird. was like, that doesn't sound right, but I'll just go with it. I was like, cross, uh, stealing a little close there, Garrett. <laughs> Okay, sending for Morley. Tell us more. Yeah, what's he? Uh, what's he telling me? Uh, oh, I'm, I'm typing. You're, I'm you're, typing. You're typing. Oh, you're typing. Yeah. You're typing. Okay. That's that's definitely, and it's it, it sounds a little panicked. <laughs> oh Jesus! Oh, no. Okay. Um. Uh, do I know where this village is that he's requesting our assistance at? Like, am I able to teleport us directly? Um, you roughly know where it is because um, it's it's not too far away from the keep. 
Okay. But you've, as for being there, you've never been there. But remember when they had that zombie shark problem at that? Yeah. That, no, yeah. no, 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 no. I know what's, I know what's okay. happening. <laughs> um, I'll, uh, I'll be like, okay, well, um, the, uh, countryside to our keep is being attacked by zombie sharks or something. Um, oh, shit. oh sorry, overrun with there. elementals, what? giant storm, and giant storms. Um, so we need to go back right now to help out. Um, oh, we'll okay. say our pleasantry goodbyes, uh, and let them know where we're going, that they can contact us at any time. But we gotta but how go. do we get back? Teleport. I'm going to teleport us back. You cannot teleport us back here, though. If you want to stay, then you can we, stay. We can come to the burial, the barrier islands. We can teleport there, and then we can get transportation from the barriers to, to here. That's true. I just, I, I feel like we have other business here, right? Don't we? Am I making this up? <laughs> I think we've done most of the business we have here. Because it was mostly meeting with the meeting with the people, which we've done, uh, meeting with the monks, which we've done, and kind of like getting some research contacts, which we've done. So I I think we we did all of our big things here already, and we do know we can come back because we have asked like, hey, is it possible for us to get back? And basically, we know that we could get to the barrier and then come through the barrier and then teleport around here as needed. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. I know, like, Aoife, if she had the ability to stay, she would, because there's a lot of work that needs to be done in terms of uh, corralling and getting all of the adept key manipulators on the same page. Like, that's a lot of work for just um, a couple of the folks here to do, uh, since Aoife is kind of the one coordinating it right now. Um, so, like, if she's able to stay to start working on that part, that'd be sick. If not, that's also okay. Um, she'll just have the others, the other Grand Masters start on that. I mean, the, if, I think that if, if she says she wants to stay, Mel would understand. Because yeah. there's, like, a lot that Eve is trying to do. I was kind of expecting Eva to end up staying anyway, so maybe we'd get, um, Centaur or Paladin back. <laughs> uh, but, um... It's just whatever. Scared away since our paladin. <laughs> That's true. Um, Etrick had one out go outing with you guys, and I was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> it's never been no. this busy for me. He's probably can, happy um... to be back with the cows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's chilling. But um, um if, yeah, yeah, if you guys just don't think you need Aoife the... for zombie sharks and stuff, then Aoife will stay to work on the finer details of the monk mobilization part of this plan. I mean, do we want to go into this with one down? I mean, I think that we could. Like, I was I... assuming that maybe is Theo we... gone. Theo's got with your daughter, right? Yes, Theo okay. is locked up at somewhere with Trixie. Yeah, okay. Um, he is not available. <laughs> um, it is. It is up to Hemlock. I do not. Well, I guess ultimately the question is. Do we think we need the full party for zombie sharks? I have no idea. Uh, we we don't have enough information. Yeah. I'm just going to say this. Last time you guys decided you were fine with uh, foregoing somebody in the party. Uh, <laughs> we did fine. Nobody died. Away. Nobody died. You let, yes, but you let the bad guy get away. Hmm, we let. That's a strong. I mean, uh, Ethan did her little bit level best to not. I know. Also, that was more of a nobody wants to try to run Tilda's sheet because it's really hard. And I understand this is more that. of a storytelling. Do we want like this would make sense for this character to do this thing? So it's kind of, I mean, it's a little different. Above game, the encounter balance might not be 
so sure. just so, well, yeah, so just but... so we're clear, it's not zombie sharks. It's a lot of earth elementals. But that's yeah, all you I, heard from I said the elementals and elementals and storm elemental stuff. So it it seems like the planes. Well, are then where infected. the hell did you get zombie sharks from? Because it was the zombie shark village, and then I corrected myself and I said that it was elementals and stuff. Oh, I thought when you said that, you meant it was zombie sharks and elementals. <laughs> so, I mean, Mel was pumped. She was fine with that idea. I, but, I was just uh... <laughs> making sure I clarified which village it was. Yeah. It was good Perfect. context because I would not have known otherwise. Also, I love that this this whole village is, like, they're going to have to, like, remake their street sign to just zombie shark town. Like, <laughs> that's your call to fame now. <laughs> that's all you got. Biggest ball yarn, zombie shark. Ultimately, if we think it'd be beneficial for Aoife to go with, she'll go with. If you wanted, if you thought it was something you maybe could handle without Aoife, then she'd stay to work on the monk stuff. But either way, she's fine. Mel won't force the issue either way. She understands that uh, tactics and diplomacy <clears throat> and uh, logistics are just as important to some things. But she also is she has no idea how dangerous this is going to be, so she's just going to leave this one to you guys. The Earth Elementals, Icon. Mm -mm. Monk will be quite as useful. I mean, Monk's are always still fucking useful, but. It also depends, uh, Hemlock, if you're okay with, like, not fighting and whatever this encounter ends up being. You know what I mean? Yeah, and, like, I'm. I'm totally fine not fighting but if we're if we have any questions at all about encounter <laughs> balancing then i'm i'm happy to go like Eva will go she just if there's a remote possibility also, that she's not needed she'd rather be working on the end of the yeah stuff. well darren well, uh, well it is a little metagamey yeah uh, i darren is the one that would know <laughs> yeah, i mean i was leader. just gonna ask Oops. jared will you be able to will you rebalance the encounter if uh or... Aoife comes or not <laughs> Or <laughs> is there something you were planning that we really should have Eva there for? <laughs> like, there's some, gonna be some sort of fucking big reveal, and Eva's gonna be in some other continent, just like do 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 monk shit, do do monk shit, <laughs> and we're just like, oh, I'm not sure how to answer this at the moment. That's mm -hmm. valid. Yeah, why don't we just bring Eva with us if we can get back here anyway? All right. Without too much so, issue, I I will Hemlock, say do whatever you want for your character. Yeah, yeah. yeah so uh, I, I I guess. part of so my, my view is like I have two. I have a view as a player and a view as a DM. As a DM, I'm just like, oh god, why would you leave somebody behind? You trying to torture me? But as a player, I completely see where Efo would stay behind. So that's why I'm honestly I get both, and I'm fine with both. Um, Efo will go. She'll be cranky, but she'll go. <laughs> Okay. So she'll be herself. Okay. Well, That's all we can really ask. Frank, you're, she's 16. If you expect more than that, you're delusional at this point. Exactly. Um, no, crankier than normal. Because she's like, we're That's getting fine. momentum in our planning. Wow. And now we got to go deal with fucking village. Yes, it's really rough being heroes, isn't it? I'm, I'm assuming we can. I'm assuming we can somehow <laughs> taste that eye roll. Like, it was somehow the biggest eye roll, and we're like, oh, hmm, raspberries. It's like when the, um, the tension is so thick you can just sense it. It's mm -hmm. like that, but with sarcasm. Mm. Okay. Uh, oh my god. You guys, That's like a... you guys teleport to Why? the closest what? point you can think of to Riverbend. Um, I'm sure that Melanie can tell you where it is, because it is her province. Mm -hmm. Well, and I feel like also we're close enough that if Zaitari needs to go like 10 or 20 miles away so that we don't end up in like Al Gore from a teleporting mishap. Yeah, I mean, if it's to... close to the keep, then we have horses. We can yeah. ride. So Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm good. Um, right. Yeah, so you can get, I would say you can get about 15 minutes uh, away from there. That, that's the closest area you know of towards okay. Riverbend. 
All right. Uh, when you arrive, the sky is dark with storm clouds. Mm-hmm. Um, there... You know, it would make sense that if in the Feywild they got the airplane that, like, you know, something else collided with. <laughs> um, uh, same Earth. Earth plane. The, the elemental plane. Or, or the material is... plane. Uh, there, the there is uh, thunder and lightning uh, in the foreground. Um, uh-huh. I will move you to this bright and sunny map, which is not bright and sunny in oh, real God. life. And I will, like, I will say that you are. Let me see if I'm on the right plane. You are on this road over here, at the right side. I don't think I was zoomed out far enough. I am yeah, pinging. me neither. There's, I am pinging oh, on a tree right there. Perfect. This is a huge map. It's a huge map. It is. Yeah, it where, where, was, where are we at? Oh my god, it is. Oh, now that I have east. the... Yeah, okay, you are I see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You are east. East. And... east. Oh, okay. I see us. And uh, we will... We are teeny tiny. You are very teeny tiny. Ahead of you. Well... Well, let me describe this to you. Uh, in, in, before you stands a couple of elementals of a variety of earth type um, with an ogre-like shaman um, oh, currently oh, decimating an abode and yeah. um, burning children alive with burning hands. Holy what shit! Excuse me? <laughs> let me get this guy out of the way. I can uh, never leave again. <laughs> oh my god. Um, even more in the background, uh you there We is... didn't do shit to these elementals. They just collided with us. Damn. <laughs> they, yeah, they collided with you and they're very upset and mad, so they gotta take out their frustration out on something. Um uh, oh more That's more uncalled for. More uh this way. Uh you hear the sounds of the earth being um how do we see this? Being overturned by more earth elementals and uh, giant worm-like creatures in the distance. Uh-oh. And even further when beyond you worm-like, that. worm-like, is that worm with a Y? Oh, it's a, uh, uh, you know what? They're, they're or is li- it with an O? They're, they're <laughs> a little ways from you, so they haven't noticed you. Um, but uh, let me... That's not our question, Derek. <laughs> It's, no, it's a worm with an O. Worm with an O. An o. Okay. That worm okay. over there. Okay. And then uh, if gotcha. you and if you if you go a little more to the um, oh oh god northwest the northwest oh, corner my. out of the map. Uh, really glad yeah. there is a giant earthen uh, hole in the middle of the village with a raging living storm. Wowzers! Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, probably good thing that he became. Holy fuck! Um, in the distance, you stay s- home and go, <laughs> and go over my new <laughs> prostate it- in a box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people are doing things. In the distance, you see Kassov's, uh Stefan, and Morley trying to take down as many Earth elementals. There are more Earth elementals than are um, on the map that you see. Um, but they're trying to take down and save as many people as possible. Um, however, it is currently a losing battle. And then you guys showed up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Such timing. Yeah, it's, it's great such, timing. Such, such timing. Such timing. Uh, we're going to deal with this group <laughs> first. Because they're the <laughs> ones who know this encounter. Dude. Wow. Showed up at the speed of plot. <laughs> mm so if you could please roll uh, an initiative roll, please, for your character. Yeah, as soon as my sheet lets me. Yep. Oh I'm my I'm God. gonna do things. It's, it's being real slow. Rain, you are up there by yourself for a while. <laughs> I'm just, and then I'll have a turn at fourteen, so I'm like... Also, <laughs> I would like to point out that there's gonna be about fifty seven things in this turn order. <laughs> no, I'm only dealing with this group this one uh one group. So this group over here, okay. uh group uh I'll designate group <sighs> worm, hasn't noticed you yet. Group worm is currently uh decimating this poor homestead. 
uh, group of children is the one we're concerned oh, with. We group children is currently yeah. the one you're concerned with. <laughs> we just hit the long rest button. Yep, I, okay. that's what I said. And, yeah, I know. It's yeah. just my sheet was honest to God being really a uh, pain in the ass. Um, okay. Wow. Yeah, that took you a while, didn't it? To roll initiative. Yeah. Um. Like, all, all of the initiative kind of popped in at once. <laughs> Thank so. God you guys weren't like, I'm going to send 17 sendings this morning, and then, because that would not have been great. Mm -hmm. Um, since they haven't noticed us yet, would I have been able to, uh, cast a... Uh, armor of Agathis on myself. I would, really I would, I would. As you were coming up, yeah, you would, you would definitely okay. be able to. Like, uh, if you guys have anything to do that you need to prep as you are coming up, as these people, as these, uh, these elementals of a variety of sizes are um, besieging this poor village, uh, <laughs> fe please feel free. Um, um, is there anything from the night before? Uh, I don't know if we have any spare spell slots um, that anyone would like to put in my ring of spell story. I have three levels available. Um, I would have been able to do any first or second level spell that I have. Rain, you go you want at... Absorb elements? I can put some absorb elements in there. 4 I'm sorry. Uh, 14. 14, alright, got it. Well, what's... What, what interesting first or second level spell slots you have. Oh, god damn it! Probably like buffs would be better, but you know. Yeah, sorry. Um, let's see. I got uh, healing word, armor of Agathis, hex, shield, uh, invisibility, darkness, or hellish rebuke. Armor of Agathis might be good. Okay, Actually. I'll. You need to pop it in there at third. Uh, cool. nope, second not third. Level? I can do a second level. That's give 10 you ten hit points. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so I'll activate that up. And you can put a first uh, another healing word in there. We'll just sure. Okay. Pop it in. Just in case. Yeah, that'll know. have been from last night. So, um, I had I had the spell slots, but um, um as well as I did. This... Oh, go ahead first. I was just gonna say that I did uh, armor of Agathis at fourth level, so I have twenty hit points, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna uh I'm gonna relaunch. Roll twenty. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure what's up with it. Right. Um, um, I'm just gonna pop out my whole, my whole shit, all the pieces. Okay. Um, Melanie will giant smite because that's an action. Um, so she'll be huge when she comes in. Okay. Uh, let me get to. Hilda's on her broom. Okay. But other than that, like all my most of my runes, I don't do in advance because um, they're bonus actions for the most part. So. All right. Uh, you do notice like. In the distance, that giant living storm is kind of like just spitball and uh, earth elementals, will and Nelly. Just strike. Hmm. Yeah. Awesome. Um, um, uh, while we we're while we were on our way here, um, Mel would have tried to talk to the others and to uh, Tilda because she knows magic shit. Uh, can you remember uh, earth elementals or, or earth and things? Uh, does they usually take much damage from, like, lightning or thunder? Is that something that can be useful against them, or not? I can't remember. Uh, this isn't Pokemon, Lynn. <laughs> I, I genuinely don't know. I mean, honestly, the thing is... But we are surrounded have... by... Yeah, it, it's, Earth, it's Earth, so that's not, uh great conductor i don't think or electricity uh, something's more likely to have a resistance than a vulnerability well you know how that one mm. time we cast a spell at something and then it like did bad things you know i just don't want to do that i don't want to be like boom lightning and then they'd be like oh there's 17 extra of us now fucker you know that sort of thing so as long as i don't, well, I don't think there's a bad. lot of lightning around darling so um hey good point Keep that in mind. Um, in, not in a torrent or order, but like in general, there's these little goblin-like creatures running around with pickaxes. Like they're like running around like 
chickens with their heads cut off. Like, where the fuck are we? Where are we doing here? That they're not really contributing to the chaos, but they're in like total panic mode. So it's just chaos. So much chaos. Um, but Rain, what would you like to do? Well, uh, no, I've seen the kid murder. Um, I will drink a uh, potion of speed, which I uh, got one. But, uh, so that will be my bonus action. I will then, um, with my movement, so just dash and strip up. Dashing through the snow. You know, one horse up and sleep. All right, and uh, I will then uh, use the extra attack uh, from haste mm -hmm. to attack. Um, I will uh, nymph expending one of the charges to do two strike along with it, which will give me advantage. Well, um, that, that's a crit. <laughs> okay. Um, 15 plus 72. <laughs> and so we're in the fit. No, okay. <laughs> you guys are not in the fit well yet. Don't, don't. No. Hey, we'll be going Try. there. I, yeah, you could ask that question Woo! as many times as you want when you're there. I mean, nothing's going to stop me. Um, <laughs> and uh, then... I will use uh, my action cast invisibility on myself. I'm just going to move the rest of my movement, which is three more squares. One, two, three, this way. Uh, so I am invisible now. Okay, sounds good. Theoretically. This little and... mosquito fucking chopped off his big ass thing's <laughs> leg and was like, what the fuck <laughs> happened? <laughs> Uh, Zaitari, if you are all set, Rain. Uh, yep. Okay. Okay. Um, my sheet's still being really slow. Mm. I'm not exactly sure what's doing it. Um, because it's not like I have a billion tab tabs open. So. I mean, I feel like you're not living your life well if you don't have at least seven open. Come on. <sighs> Are we counting tabs on your phone? Because that it's not the same device, but it is tabs. Oh no, I have about uh, forty something on my phone. Yo. Oh. Um. Too many. <laughs> That's like my mother-in-law's phone. It, she has like roughly uh five hundred uh notifications at all times because she doesn't know how to turn them off. Mm, yeah. She never <laughs> clears them. Yeah, she never clears them ever. It's, it's one so, button. It's so horrible to, for her to hand me her phone, and I'm just like, Hugh! oh god. Oh. oh yeah, I don't have to be in. So if I got to like there, um, I'm I'm assuming that there's probably like a shadow, like around this. Uh, giant, right? Oh, yes. It's, um, okay. you could say the whole place is a shadow at this point because you are in dim light. Oh, yeah, light. that's there's right, no, dim light, yeah. yeah. There's no mm -hmm, sun. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Then I'm gonna, uh, use that my that bonus action map, It is a very to, bright map. to teleport over here. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I'm gonna do some steel wind striking. Okay. Um, and I'll be able to hit everything in this circle. Mm -hmm. uh, as soon as it lets me actually do it. Um, There we go. Okay. All right. Uh, so the first one I assume is to this guy. Yeah, we're gonna go uh, counterclockwise. Uh, can you give me one second? I need to check on something. Sure. Okay, great. Uh, so for him, he's gonna shield that. Okay. 
Um, and this is the big guy? This is the big guy. And the second guy, I assume you're going, like, around this way? Yep. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. All right, that guy will get hit. Uh, so. Oh, not one them. <laughs> Seven. Um, 36. Uh, the one doesn't hit. And uh, when I reappear, I will reappear right there. Mm -hmm. um, so pretty much. Oh my god. Shoom, 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 shoom. Oh, tink, yep. shoom, 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 shoom. Yeah, you can imagine it like tink, an anime <laughs> where, like, you know, the guy with the katana just goes. Ch -ch -ch. <laughs> and like a bunch of hits happen mm -hmm. um and then you go past them and then their head flies off yep exactly nice. um first guess so. um i'm just reading how mobile works you like a melee attack okay yeah it's not a me <sighs> yeah it's a melee spell attack so i'm guessing it's different um Unless you think it would, it, would mobiles, uh, if you make a melee attack, even if it doesn't hit, you can still move and not get um, attack of opportunity. It's up to you. Um, how's mobile worded? I'm pretty uh, sure it's just you just hit them thought, with the attack. I thought it said attack action. No. Oh. It says melee attack. I don't know if. You want to include melee spell attack in that, or we could not. do melee spell attack. Just make it easier. Okay. Yeah, it's, it has melee attack. It's melee spell attack. It's fine. Okay. Uh, then I will have popped right there. Mm -hmm. Um. And uh, since I didn't move at all, mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna just <laughs> go back right where I was. <laughs> okay, that's that's very fair. Uh, Rain, you get to go again. All right, so, uh, wow. Uh, that was all popping off and getting this guy right in front of me distracted. Oh, um, did we get, did we see, uh, important roles already for today? I don't, I don't think so. Uh, Ro is BRB currently. Yeah. Um, I oh. will I missed that. use the extra melee action to make an attack, which I believe will be at advantage because I'm invisible. Mm-hmm. Um... Um, and then I will, as an action, cast Mind Sliver. Mm hmm. And that's an intelligence saving throw. Okay. Um, DC 18. Mm -hmm. DC 18. He does not make it. I uh, so it's nine psychic damage and um target must make it uh, so next time it makes a saving throw before the end of the of my next turn uh it must roll a d4 and subtract the number rolled from the save all right i'll just make a little note about that and then i will use the so wait i will use my own bonus action to disengage. Okay, that is fair. Yeah. It's mad at me, it's mad at me, it's mad at me. <laughs> I... <laughs> get away, get away. Get away. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much how Zaytari felt. Like, oh man, if I can get away from these things, it'll be way better. <laughs> I might just get out from behind him. Go get it, go get it. <laughs> Honey, save me. <laughs> okay. uh, the one earth elemental that is around here is going to make its way towards you guys. So it's a movement of 60, which you can't get anybody. Well, it's there. Probably can get Zaitari. <laughs> 
I was gonna say I wouldn't. I am surprised that an earth elemental cannot throw a rock. <laughs> Technically, it can't. This earth oh. elemental can't. Oh, it's a Zorn, right? Uh, so it dashed here, can't attack. However, the rock slide earth elementals can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so they are going to move a little bit because their range is not as uh, long as they want. So it was a north elemental, but uh, one of the giants throwing a rock is probably the thing that has put the biggest fear of God in me in D and D. Because it's just whack. You know? okay. It's like something like thirty hit points at level five uh -huh. or something. You know? Yeah, yeah, it was pretty bad. Like, any time a rock nice. comes at you and you're low level, I'm like, it's like you just do the sign of the cross and then, like, okay. pray. Yeah. <laughs> this is it for me, guys. I've had two characters get totally vaporized. One of them was from a rock. Yeah. And this Both of them are level three rogues. <laughs> actually get to you. Yes. All right, so this, the middle one will go to, for Melanie because you are the biggest target. They have target. they have not been stung by the um, sneak attack machine that is Rain. Uh, also, Rain's uh, second attack, second uh, turn I'm is sneak. now gone. Um, okay, so we are going to go with the two that are going to throw rocks first. Um, let's see who they can hit from that distance. Wow, really? <clears throat> All right. Since this looks like it's going to be probably an intense combat, should I go ahead and try to keep track of the rounds I've got my stuff up? Because I've got some stuff that's going to be 10 rounds. Yeah, I would say that. Okay. I'll try to make sure that when I get in the chat, I write it down. Um, That is a miss on Melanie. Uh... Zaitari, does a 20 hit you? No. Okay. And the one in front of you, Melanie, is going to try to make... Um... Oh, actually, the other one still has an attack. No, nope, that's not good. Uh, Zaitari, does a 25 hit you? Um, I think it would, but I think I can shield that. Hold on. Okay, just a bit. Uh, um opening up my sheet again. It's not like I'm closing it, I'm just double clicking it to minimize it, but yep, it yep. still doesn't, it does not care. <sighs> uh, yeah, I will shield that. Okay, um, then it doesn't hit you. Uh, okay, Melanie, these attacks. Um, that is a 25 to hit. Um, and I'm I'm pretty surrounded by little assholes right now, right? Um, let me move. I'm sorry, I've I had the map moved out to kind of like see a wider view. Let me pull it in more. Um, uh, okay, it just looks like there's not a ton around me. Yeah, I'm just that hits. I was gonna. I have a shield cast, but I don't think I'm gonna use it for this. So. Okay. Then it's going to be like that punch and just put me down. So the first hit is 21 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. And then the second hit will not connect. So okay. several rocks have been thrown. They don't connect. Uh, two, Three slam attacks in your direction. They do not connect. Aoife! All right. Um, are the kids inside the house still screaming? Um, rolls a d100 let's find out uh, mm, mm, uh. <laughs> no it's not, it's not looking good captain cool uh, I'm gonna run up to the elemental that's been attacking Zaitari I guess mm-hmm and I'm just gonna make my 
four attacks against it. No flurry of blows right now. Uh, that will connect. Uh, is there um, additional damage with that? With this one, yes. Okay, so that's uh, 30. And then all these are going to be astral arms, but I'm just going to use my unarmed macro. Um, well, no, these are going to be unarmed. Because I forgot I have my claws. Okay, so the, sec the third one will hit. So that's 13. Uh, let's try and stun it. Why okay. not? I can't remember. What does Aoife's astral self look like? Um, it's just kind of like a, a glimmering like shell of an armor. Almost like an exoskeleton that kind of shows up over her. Okay. I don't think we ever established it, so... Yeah, I just something... remember what my one player had, which was like Displacer Beast tentacles. <laughs> yeah, it's not super uh, like detailed or ornate, because she, she hasn't seen too many detailed or ornate things. Mm -hmm. um, the arms are just her arms. Mm -hmm, and they're all just mm -hmm. coming out of the shoulders. Mm -hmm. um, almost like Doc Aki. Um, but nice, then the rest nice. of like the visage and the helm and like all that kind of stuff, they're just kind of some basic armor pieces. So a con save does pass. Yeah, I figured. Uh, that's it. That's my um, action bonus action. So Okay. I will, I will just finish moving around it to the other side just to free up kind of like a channel for anything that people want to do. And that is it. All right. Um... Hmm. All right, let's do that. Uh, he is going to cast would anybody like to do anything I reused my reaction to shield okay uh Tilda. The only other option I think is really still be our bead. I want to see if technically she would be close enough if she wished to do this. I mean, I would guess, yeah. Yeah, I assume she would. Uh, I'm going to turn it to its turn now. Um, we'll come back to this. <laughs> it would, does that something towards me? Um, no, no, no. We're wanting to know whether uh, Tilda would do a uh, counter spell or not, and she's uh, BRB, so we don't have a way to ask. Mm -hmm. Uh, Melanie, what would you like um, to do? The one that's casting is the one that's farthest away with the or with the magenta, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, sorry, I've got hiccups. Uh, Melanie is gonna start with the one in front of her and try to just cut her way over there. Okay. Um, so. Um, really fast. She's gonna activate the hill rune. Mm -hmm. uh, so that means she's gonna take uh, half damage from. Uh, bludgeoning. Thank God. Um, and then she's gonna go ahead and make an attack against the guy right in front of her. Okay. Um. One second. I've got more of those. Boop. Boop. Uh, all those will hit. Uh, 
so let me do that. And everything crashes around. So I'm just going to wait for Tilda to come back. If anybody wants to get a drink or something while we wait. I have two beverages near me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm stabbing a llama. It's actually llama shaped now, though. Kind of. I mean, it's like a booty llama. That's all right. A booty llama? Yeah, it's got a real big butt. Mm. <laughs> He's <laughs> and, a thick and, llama. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, the clap of these cheeks is gonna keep up a whole like countries. It, <laughs> it. I went a little well. So like you know, their legs aren't like towards their tummy. So like, I accidentally put his legs too far forward when I was putting on the back legs, and I was mm. like, well, I guess I could add more butt. <laughs> so it's just thick. <laughs> <laughs> the clap of those ass cheeks so, shall echo throughout the Andes <laughs> sending oh, down man. tumbling rock slides so while we're waiting for uh, Ro to get back uh, I will tell you guys I straight up did not speak like the same lingo as somebody uh, when they called in the other day mm -hmm. and it took 40 minutes for me to figure out that we were saying this she was telling me one thing and I did not understand her because I god I just <laughs> the whole thing was that she was like you took my paycheck away and I was like we definitely didn't like what are you talking about and like 40 minutes <laughs> I was like so you got a paper check and she's like yes and I was like you and you took one from the bank, and she's like, yeah, I deposited it. And I was like, and the other one you didn't. She's like, yeah, I've got it in my pocket. And I was like, okay. And I was like, so you only took the one, and you don't have the funds from the other because it's in your pocket. And she's like, right. And it was a whole thing. In my pocket means I got cash for it? I didn't know that was a thing. And so it was 40 minutes of this person not understanding that getting cash for a check and putting it in your account is the same action. And me not yeah. understanding that she wasn't just like, I was just like, I don't know why you have a cash, uh, a, a fresh, ready to be used check in your pocket, but I'm not going to doubt this, I guess. Yeah, that's what I thought you were saying too. And I was like, what the fuck no. is this? Go to the bank and cash it. Like, what's your problem? Yeah, <laughs> like, I was just like, it's in your pocket. And I, that was not the weirdest part of the conversation. So I was just like, okay, I guess you're the weirdo that keeps their check for a really long time. Like, I don't know what you're doing. With no, no. So then when she said that she never got those checks and we took them back out of the, the we voided them and reissued them, she got very confused as to why she took her money away. And it's like, well, <laughs> you told us you didn't have it, so we gave it back to you. But for us to do that, we got to take it back first. Yeah. The whole thing. It was, it was a very confusing 40 minutes. No one was happy when we were done. <laughs> so she was trying to get, like, essentially... She was trying to get paid twice, check. but she yeah. didn't... Yeah, she didn't realize that she'd been paid twice, but... It, it was a whole thing. And okay. what <laughs> happened was like, so it's one of those things where she originally talked to HR and then uh -huh. HR talked to us uh -huh. and then she talked to us, but we didn't know the HR. Like it was so like the whole thing, it was like this bizarre game of telephone. Yeah. It was, it, it was confusing. It was all kinds of, it was all over the place, mm -hmm. but I feel that. Man, I mean, I was perplexed by that, so, yeah. You know, I'm really glad that that's not a common slang, because I was talking to Kelly, and he was like, yeah, I heard that conversation. Uh, when she said it was in her pocket, obviously that meant she just cashed it. And I was like, you've heard that slang before? <laughs> and he was like, yeah, that's obvious. And I was like, oh, fuck, really? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, thank God. I'm so glad. No, 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 no. <laughs> I have never heard oh. that turn of phrase before once in my life. I feel so much better now. <laughs> you could tell you could tell Kelly that everybody in your D and D group disagrees with him and he's weird. 
<laughs> of course, he's going to be like, you guys are the ones playing pretend all night. And I'm going to be like, yeah, it was awesome. I don't. He's mm-hmm. <laughs> like, yeah, what did you do? Honestly, I was I was talking to him earlier today and I was like, you know, if we don't play D&D with your friends, because we, we play occasionally. I was like, we could try to play Pathfinder. I was like, you would love Pathfinder because what he likes is to make the dumbest fucking powerful and dumb character and he just has fun with it like just bizarre stuff and i was like you could make some weird shit in pathfinder and so, but i was like but also i'm having a hard time understanding it uh in some aspects and i'm pretty sure that we've got at least two friends that would not follow because they have trouble with 5e <laughs> oh yeah no they wouldn't <laughs> yeah I mean, you gotta play. Well, just like you never know. Sometimes things can click better than others. You yeah, know? I mean, that's true. I think you'll get it eventually. It took me a little while to like understand things. Sometimes I still don't understand shit. <laughs> We're all still figuring it out. I think that real, the biggest so. thing is like the the people I have in mind are they like playing, but they don't really get like the math involved in it, and so. <laughs> They just aren't paying as much attention, I think, and that's okay because they're in it for the social. We're hanging out with friends. Um, yeah, they might like something more like. Um... Honestly, I I was thinking that I might um, take out take a look at some of the non D and D TTRPGs where maybe they're more combat based and stuff like that because I think something like that they might enjoy. Because if I mean it depends on like what they're more interested in. Do they like more role play? Do they? I think that I think that like just about everybody combat? Uh, loves combat. Like um, our whole friend group played a lot of Diablo. Quite and honestly, if you wanted to, you could just make fun encounters in a dungeon and just run yeah. those, and yeah. not have anything else happen. And they just go from room to room and kill shit. Uh, honestly, whenever I do like the games for them, it's almost always, it's just Monster of the Week usually. Yeah. And so like if I did a campaign for them and it actually did have role play, it would basically just be a Monster of the Week. There's very little role play. Yeah, I Which mean honestly, like. you wouldn't even do that. You could just do a hex crawl and like roll some dice. It's like oh, okay, you guys encounter this, let's go, kind of thing. I will so- say <laughs> they do enjoy some role play because they they always get silly about it. Though they're always they're new at playing, so they're always very shy on their role play, but mm-hmm. it's fun. Yeah, I mean, I can't recommend any war game like games because I have not played any. But you might want that. that honestly, it, might be something to look into. I honestly, until um, I until the old GL and when we were thinking about playing Blades in the Dark, like all that, that was kind of what made me realize that there's a lot more variety out there of tabletop RPGs. Um, because I've only ever played D and D as far as a TTRPG. Um, I played three point five and didn't really love it and then i've played 5e so honestly a fantastic place to look if you want to get an idea of other ttrpgs that are out there and a ton of free ones because there's a ton of playtest material posted there it's itch.io mm-hmm. so much great stuff over there um Ooh. we might for wednesday we were for the wave we had several panicky sessions trying to figure out what the hell are we going to do um and we stumbled across a system called wild sea which is very mm-hmm. promising and we are Ooh. very interested in potentially pursuing that one but i've been amassing a google drive folder of just ttrpg stuff if you would like access to it mm. yeah and, uh... i might i might do that because i'll and sometimes with stuff like that um if i ever get shared a material that i should that i could buy if i end up using it i'll buy it but yeah i mean that's what most people so do because honestly like, you know, you got to play test something, see if it sticks, and if not, then, you know, it's like, why am I wasting like yeah. twenty dollars yeah. exactly. on something that I'm not going to use long term? So, but um, <clears throat> if you want, I can also ask my friend Randy because he is very familiar with lots of different tabletop systems. Um, what might fit your group well? Uh, so, but honestly, cool. I think like um. A blaze in the dark might be worthwhile to Honestly, do at least once because so, there's like no prep. <laughs> so well, and that was the thing. The like one of the reasons I actually because I was watching stuff about Blaze in the Dark, and then I ended up um, 
watching some games of it and stuff like that and i was like i honestly think that this could be really good for them so i picked up the book but i haven't read much of it yet i've got like a chapter in and then i got distracted by other stuff but i had a lot of fun with blades in the dark lovely i love uh i love um any force in the dark system well you know maybe because you know i want to run a game but mallory and um Lynn are the only ones I can get to do it. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want, like, random-ass new people, you know? Yeah, I understand. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've had luck on LFGs, but I've also gotten burned on LFGs, so... Yeah, I kind of lucked out with the Wednesday group, but the other game that I DM on the weekends, it's the same people I've been DMing for for, like, six years. So Yeah. Anytime I'm running a Wednesday new game or... like. Or a one shot or something. I always try to. Uh, I'll message anybody I've played with before that I know is like cool, and I'm just like, "Hey, <laughs> what yeah. up? You up? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Like, you know, I play in other people's games, and then I encounter new players that I like, and I feel like, okay, they'll probably vibe well in yeah. my games, and then I'm like, hey, you want to play? <laughs> I think my problem is network. My group has gotten too inbred. They're pretty much all the same group at this point. <laughs> like one or two people different in each other. Yeah, like thank God for your game, Lynn. You had so many new people there and I had, was able to pull, pull I had a some lot people of new from people, that. So <laughs> But there's like uh and I think it's the same probably the same two players that I really like that you've had in some of your stuff. Yeah, I mean Rain plays in um my Sunday well, what is now my Sunday game. Um and obviously uh Oh, Rain does? Yeah. Oh, awesome. Yeah. I thought it was... Yeah, they're playing Fiore. Oh, uh, what? Mm -hmm. Awesome! And then, uh, obviously, Gnome was in uh, Fox uh, Machina Must Die. Fox Machina, yeah. Yeah. Kill those fuckers good. <laughs> yep. They are all dead. That was yeah, the I first this evil campaign... Maybe think of I, the farm map. <laughs> or like a oh yeah, that was an awesome map. I need I oh man, that software also dropped like a bunch of updates. So there's a bunch of cool shit I can do. Um honestly, um anytime you want me Now we just been bullshitting. Yeah. Is everything okay. okay? Uh yeah. Uh nature called. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, That's okay, fine. okay. Um I have a question. Have the children been taken care of? Oh uh, yeah, they're dead. Yeah, um, they're dead. What? <laughs> oh. Yeah, wow. they were burnt. They were burned alive. <laughs> was, I mean, like, the way you missed... said it, it. <laughs> yeah, uh, it should. Aoife asked, "Are the I was children ready still to use screaming?" My turn to yeah. go save the kids. They are already gone. Yeah. Um, but I, I was ready to go, and but I was too late. I rolled too low in the initiative order. <laughs> I mean, we got healing magics. We can bring people <laughs> back. Are you willing to spend a diamond for each one of these kids? No. Yeah. <laughs> okay, great. Absolutely. I have a question for you, Tilda. Uh, that shaman on its turn was cast in. Were you going to counterspell? Where is the shaman? Which uh, one's the shaman? The, I don't know which one's the shaman. The, the, the one with the magenta <laughs> border. You're in, you're in range. Okay, I'm in range. You're also the only person currently with a reaction. That can then, cast yes. counterspell. All right. I would cast counterspell. Uh, what level? Uh, third. I would like you to roll, please. Okie dokie. Give me a second. Um, it is a intelligence, intelligence check. check. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, I don't get. It's not a, a save, right? Like I don't have the proficiency. Oh, do you want to roll it. your portent rolls? Yes, yes, I do. Thank you for the reminder, because I just yeah, thought cause... of that while I was gone, and I was yeah. like, crap. Uh, okay. Um, how bad has the shaman been so far? Have we? Uh, he got crit. Yeah, he got. I mean, he got crit. He hasn't done much except kill the children. Yeah, he got. He's taken almost two hundred points of damage from rain. Okay. If memory serves correctly. It was a lot. So then... Um, alright. I think it'll be fine if you just roll it, but obviously it's up to you. Yeah. Uh, 
sorry, I'm just trying to. My no, nose no, is running to you now, so I'm like, ah. Um. Okay. 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 Um. Just, uh, okay, so I need to get a 19 or higher, right? Uh, if I... you don't know what he cast? Right, I, I know, but, like, even giving it, if it was at a ninth level spell, if it's a ninth level spell, I'd still need to make a 19. Correct. Like, yep. that's the maximum. Yeah, that would be, like, the highest. Right. 19 and um, over is a guaranteed win. <laughs> If this thing say? has a ninth level spell, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what'd you say, KK? Anything over 19, you win. Yeah, so. yeah, anything over 19, I win. That's what I was trying to say. Um, okay. Uh, you know what? I'm going to take the 14 mm -hmm. of my portents and uh, use it for this. Okay, so, so what that would that unnatural twenty. All right, great. So the disintegrate doesn't go off. Ha ha. Uh, who was he pointing it at? Uh, he rain. You're <laughs> invisible, right? Just double check. Uh, no, I am not. Okay. Uh, Just so the, so the person who yeah. would have been on my uh set two four six the shit list. <laughs> eight, uh, it would have been Melanie technically. Um, I I just rolled a die because. Lazy. Um, Great, all right. Cool. So it is your she, turn. So Tilda is both traumatized and relieved at the same time. Yep. Um, and really fucking pissed off. That this <laughs> these things just burned some children alive for the hell of it. Yep. Um. <sighs> okay. Um. Now, um, this looks like a line that, um, mm -hmm. I might be able to, uh, did, Lynn, did Mel do any, uh, lightning damage to these guys? No, I was going to probably activate that later because it doesn't last a very long time and I can only do it once per day. Um, so I Fair have not enough. activated that. Um... Then I would like to, uh, I'm guessing these guys don't have much in the way of dexterity. They have so, looked fairly clunky in their maneuvering so far. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> um, nice. Excuse you. Uh, we're gonna to cast a lightning bolt at 5th level because why not? Okay. Well, come on. Alright, so... Now was not the time to roll those two. this poorly. Oh yeah, that's a lot of medium. Mm -hmm. Alright, so all of them will take it. So this Ooh. guy oh, is the deaded... Uh, this guy is... Good. Fuck that guy. Okay, and then this guy has... Still alive. I'm moving it, I'm moving it. You can lay down in a second, hold on. Um, would you like to do anything else on your turn? Yes, I would. Uh, how hurt are my allies? I don't think anybody's taken good? any damage yet. Okay, great. Um, I would like to then, uh fly around this way. I'm flying. Cats. Um. Hmm. Have they taken reactions yet, or? Uh. No. no. Probably not. No? Okay. 
Um, in which case I'm going to, okay, fly that way. Um, and where? I would like to fly right to that corner here. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm just saying I have 50 feet of movement on my broom. Um, and then I will forego a bonus action because don't got one. Okay. Great. Uh, Rain, what do you got? At this point, uh, I will run around 20, 25, 30, 40, stab, take advantage. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's dead. It's It, it crumbles oh, into it a damn. pile of rubble. It is, it is Jesus it's Christ. gone. And then uh, that was the melee action. Uh, grant, extra action granted. And then I will... Um, uh, I guess I'll just silvery barbs this one action. Oh, not silvery that had barbs. To be a um, reaction. No, not silvery barbs. Um, m mind sliver. Oh, yeah. me? Mind sliver, yeah. Um, this is uh, another intelligence saving throw of eighteen. Okay. Um... Sure, also good damage. Does not make it. Um, you're, so, you're hitting which one? Again? That's an action. Yeah, I I took a potion of speed. Potion so. of speed. Okay, right. So yeah. which one are you hitting? Uh, this one right here. Okay. Seventeen. And then I do my patented run back behind my girlfriend, my uh, fiance. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Sounds good. My fiance. Uh, Zaitari. Yep, I'm going to go up to this one mm -hmm. uh, to take advantage of that advantage. Ha ha ha. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. As soon as my sheet uh, calms down a little bit. I will do my attacks. Mind sliver lighter than a mind. Oh my god. <laughs> on, that was out. a lot of pull I was going to expect from that. <laughs> Okay. Um, yeah, okay, so we're going to do... <clears throat> um, do I want to hex it? I mean, you can yeah. keep concentration on it for a long time, so... I can, yeah. So I will cast uh, hex with my bonus action. Um, and start whacking. Okay, sounds good. I put it on a. I was actually going to uh, cast text on my mo next go. bonus action. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, that Let's is you. 16. Wow, that's so low. Jesus Christ. Is 14 hit? Uh, 14 does not hit. It's a it's a little too like rocky. Yeah, that's insane. That's that's like so goddamn low. That's insane. Um. Three rolls and still that low. <sighs> um, all right, one D. Is a hex is hex damage a D six or a D eight? D six. Thank you. The only reason I'm asking is because I don't want to pop my sheet back open again and have to deal. No, with no, no. Yeah, I, I figured. All right, all right. Just all right awesome. Thank you. Uh, and I'm also going to, as I wait for my sheet to load again. Sorry, because um, I forgot I can apply. Um, um, a blade flourish. I'm going to do a um, 
there anything within five feet? No, okay. Um, I'll just do... Yeah, I'll just do my usual defensive. Alright, sounds good. Uh, another seven. I'm not defensive, you're defensive. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So I have... As uh, so I have 30 AC at the moment. And that'll be the end of my turn. Okay. Um, the Earth Elemental is going to try to slam you in retaliation. Good luck. Uh, that is a 26 to hit. Nope. Okay. Really thought she was gonna say that's a that's a one. Save. So that's no. uh, <laughs> set. And the rock slide elementals. I'll I'll are... go ahead and sentinel that guy. Okay. Just just because I can, I think. Yeah, that's fine. Right? It's reasonable. Yep. Yeah. I punch. Okay. Um. So that's eighteen. Yes. Okay. Uh, it is dead. You can move your hex to another target on your turn. On, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. So this one is going to move closer to you. And Oh, Dan, you're such a cutie. Actually, Sorry. it's not. It can, it, it can just hit you from over there. Um, it's gonna Fine, I can just hit it from over here, too. Okay. Um... Just two guys stand 10 feet apart. 10 feet apart. <laughs> <laughs> Two guys to get closer. in a hot tub, sitting ten feet apart because they're not gay. Um. All right. So. Um. I have a sixteen, which won't hit. No, wait. Yeah, mm -hmm. I have a sixteen that won't hit. I have a twenty, which I assume won't hit. Nope. And I have a twenty-six. Uh, 26 hits. My AC is currently 24. So, 6 plus 5 is 11. 11 plus... Uh, it's 17 points of bludgeoning damage. Mm -hmm. And then it is going to bonus action. It's going to separate its parts. And it's going to take the dash action. Um, this normally would have... Um, so this, you, if you want to take the attack of opportunity, but I know you sentinelled. Um, yep. If you want to take the attack of opportunity, you would normally have disadvantage. It's going to go uh, zoom, zoom this way. Just watching it go, and I'm like, it's it's funny that it thinks it can outrun me. <laughs> it, it doesn't really think. <laughs> it doesn't know yet. <laughs> yeah. uh, and then this one's going to go right there to say hi to Zaitari. Mm -hmm. And it's going to attempt to hit you, um, trying to hit you with a 22, nope. a 21, nope. and a 17. Nope. It that gotta be the 30. Flourish. Yeah. It did not do anything. Um, it is also going this to... This doesn't even beat my, real, like my usual AC, yeah. so... It is also going to uh, bonus action uh, nimble separation, and it's going to go this way. Because it can. Might as well use the bonus action. Uh, mm -hmm. Ifa. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna come up here so I can reach both of them. Uh, I'm going to not worry about the one at the top so much. Uh, but the one at the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and do my four attacks against it. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, solid hits. Yeah, those are very solid hits. So 17, 10, 19, and 13. Okay. Um... Excellent. Hmm? Um, okay. Is that your turn? Uh, yeah. I'm not going to bother trying to stun him. Okay. Uh, Melanie. Alright. Um. 
Hold on, I gotta put that on this tiny little three millimeter eyeball. Excuse okay. me? I've got a three millimeter wide eyeball in my hand. Um, mm. It's not alive. It's a crafting eyeball. Okay. Um, yes. uh -huh. I just didn't want to drop it. <laughs> I, I actually no, have no, like no, a you're, you're totally fake of them. eyeballs with for your uh, extra thick uh, alpaca. Exactly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. His his dummy thick cheeks are gonna. Oh. World. Um, I guess I'm gonna hit which of these. I I guess I, they're earth elementals. I can't tell who's more hurt. They just look dirty. Yeah, they're um, like they're just uh, just. Uh, if you want to see wh which one's the uh, less combined uh, rocks uh, in in total, uh, it'd be the yeah. bottom one. It'd be the bottom one. All right, I'll start with that guy, and just unload on him. Hold on, my cats are fighting. <laughs> <laughs> Here, six millimeter eyeball. So we have a cabinet over the fridge. Um, one ah. cabinet door is accessible. One cabinet door is not because we have like a large Tupperware container in front of it. Yeah. yeah. And um, Meatloaf will get on top of the fridge, enter the cabinet through the door that is accessible, <laughs> go to the other side behind the door that is not, and then we'll just gently paw at the door repeatedly. So it just Ooh. keeps. It, we'll just slam into the Tupperware container <laughs> for as long as we leave her in there. Um, yep. So far, her running record is like twenty-seven minutes. Oh my god. <laughs> And then I have to go fish her out um, eventually because she just. Sorry. It's I totally, she totally I, knows what she's doing. I heard she somebody say that cats like have, and I don't know if it's true or if it's just somebody's idea, but that they they understand that all the doors go outside, but they don't necessarily understand that all the doors go to the same outside. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who knows what Milo truly understands? She is an orange cat. Oh, yeah. oh, you the rare uh, female orange cat. Extra stupid. <laughs> She's something. Uh, but that's been her nightly habit for the past week is to do oh, the man. above the fridge cabinet thing. She's just like, I just want somebody to hold me and I don't know any other way to get them to do it. So we're if just you gonna pick do her this. up, she screams. Yep. <laughs> oh, she well, does not want to be held. Scuzzy used <laughs> to do that. Another female orange. Mm. They're just they're very dramatic. They're a dramatic black hole of intelligence. Like <laughs> or there's not hole. even there's not even a glimmer, <laughs> you know. Uh, I had to toss French right into the bathroom. I gave him food. He has food in the litter box. He'll be fine. He's being he has um... food in the litter box? No, he has food in the la bathroom. Oh, he's just food being... and a litter box. Yeah, he's oh, just being. Okay. He's just being. Fresh. I heard in the litter box Sorry. too. He's just being <laughs> fresh with ketchup because I'm not giving him new food, even though that food was put down like two hours ago. Mm. Rotten. Come on, come on. It's gonna kill me. <laughs> so okay, uh, where were Melanie? Uh, which one were you hitting? Okay, the, the lower one. Lower, the, the lower one is definitely dead. <laughs> Um, it would have been dead after the second hit. Would you like to hit the other one with that? Yeah, yeah. I'll just move that last hit to the other one. All right. So 25. All right. Excellent. Uh, Tilda? Um... Well, figuring that uh, my friends have pretty handily taken care of these other Earth elements, and they should be fine with taking care of the last one, um, I'm going to continue flying towards where the actual problem seems to be. Um... Tilda, go ahead and roll me a perception check. Oh boy. Okie dokie. Oh, you know what we need to invent for uh, mm. dealing with the old ones? We need to invent the hyperbaric time chamber. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. All right. So that would help immensely. <laughs> Excellent. You can see this perfectly. You see that big storm over there in the northwest corner? Yep. Uh, you literally see it suck up people and hurl them yards away. <laughs> uh, 
Nice. Cool. <laughs> yep. Would you like to do anything else on your turn? Uh, well, first of all, I haven't even moved mm -hmm. <laughs> my mini at all. Uh, so I would like to do that. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, now you said that the storm is producing the elementals, right? Yes. Just, okay. just, just, just spitting them out like acorns. <laughs> Seven, eight, eight times five is forty, right? It's yeah, budding okay. like a sponge. <laughs> that gives me. Um, alrighty. Uh. Hang on a second. I need to uh, draw a shape. And I need to keep in mind, figure out what shape it is. Um. Heptagonal. Nope. <laughs> Easy for me to say. Hmm. 40 foot cube. Right. Okay. Um. I actually downloaded a crochet pattern, and uh, part of the pattern is like, all right, you're going to need 67, oh, or no, not 67, I'm sorry, 47 octagons, 12 pentagons, 3 heptagons. <laughs> I'm guessing this is some weird uh, blanket? Oh, no. Oh, it's an African flowered horse. Can that, you send the pattern? Oh, uh, yeah. Is that pattern by the same person who did the um, the spider? Probably. She's done a bunch of African flower stuff. Let me find the picture of it. I'm obsessed with the one person who does the uh, crochet spiders. They look so cool. If it's, I'll be able to tell immediately based off of the yeah, picture. Of the yeah. Same. It, yeah. Why? <laughs> it is. Now there are a couple artists on Ravelry that have patterns like this. So it might even it might be that other person, but she has a spider um, mm. one. The the thing with those spiders uh, that that woman usually does is the um like where the white is is usually color like really mm -hmm. bright color on okay. the spider. So well yeah I kind of I'm doing this in jewel tones. So far I've only made one piece. Uh, also I'm not using sock yarn. I'm using worsted, so he's gonna be big. No Ooh. chunky boy. Yeah, it's for a kid. I thought it'd be kind of like, and I'm actually doing the one that's uh, uh, the sheep, but um, it's the same design. So. Yeah, I've, um, Please I've started. Just... Sorry. There we go. Continue. I've started uh, to I'm make just... a, a no. tote bag. Oh, you could do you could do that real easy with tote bags. Yeah. Yeah, I because I, I have a bunch of bulky yarn. I didn't know what to use it for, so I was like, you know what, this is perfect for a tote bag. I'm going to get it up to the point of the handles, and then I'm going to cool my jets until I can go and get some, like, nice wood rings for it or something. Mm, you can nice. also just do the handle with whatever the yarn is held triple. Yeah, I mean, I could do that. I just, I really love the look of, like, a big tote with wooden handles. Oh, well, in that case, yeah, it goes nice. for the wooden handles. I thought you were just thinking of sturdiness. No, I just have to get over to Michael's and buy some wooden handles. <laughs> I will say, I love it when I uh, hold stuff triple, that it makes it n thicker and nicer. I hate frogging with it. Pain mm -hmm. in the ass. I also don't know if I want to crochet this particular pattern holding bulky yarn triple. Because I'm oh. using a 5.5 hook on it, so it's like thick and like sturdy. Uh, holding triple with a 5.5, even if I size up yeah. a little bit, it's going to be a pain in the ass. That Yeah, fuck no. Mm -mm. That's <laughs> going to be a pain in the ass. I could just do braided eye cords, I guess. That'd be pretty good, and that'd be simpler. All right, slow. Did I hear uh, a... a wisdom save? Okay, and then for the arc elemental, so they both fail, so they're now slowed. Slow, slow. And they have now you know, entered combat. Why is your chin so dirty? What did you get into? You little freak. 
<laughs> Food. That's my uh, my uh, snack for later. Um, She's just not crusty. Why are you crusty? Everybody's still not hurt, right? Correct. Correct. Yep. Okay. No hurts. So I've just slowed uh, these guys in this square over here. Uh, that should be fairly visible. Um, I wish I had gotten more, but uh, yeah. And once again, nothing really I can do with my um, my bonus action. So Yeah. Uh so that's my my turn. Okay. All right, great. Uh, rain. Uh, you know, for uh, yeah, I'm stabbing. <laughs> right in front of me. Uh, off to see the world. It's horrible. Such a lovely world. Twenty-two to hit. Uh, twenty-two will hit. Um, how much juice did this out? Yeah. Um, so twenty-two plus thirty-five. Uh, 13 plus 35. 13 plus 35. Okay. Um, 48. All right. Yeah. All right. It is still up. Um, I guess we will mind sliver it. Uh, you do 16 points of damage to it. Okay, for... Can it not make this the throw? No, it's it's not a very <laughs> smart rock. Rocks are not known for their intelligence. <laughs> All right. Um... We are about to make a lot of sad rocks, though. So. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, and I will. Uh. So action, melee action, bonus action to disengage. End of my turn. <laughs> okay. Uh, Zaitari. Um, Zaitari believes that this elemental will be dealt with. Mm -hmm. uh, so she is going to move. Okay. Um, start moving up. Uh, we're going to go to this house. Because I'm going to use my bonus action to transfer. Yeah, I'm in range. Okay. I'm going right. to use my bonus action to transfer my hex onto this one. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I'm going to use my action to Eldritch Blast. Okay. Sounds good. As soon as it lets me. All right, guys. Uh, should a llama be pink, purple, or green? Hmm. Pink. Yes. Yeah, I thought pink, pink immediately. I was about to say, you know, pink I'm all for the pink. Pink hmm. is the traditional answer. All right, all right. I will say my greens aren't beautiful. Like they're a weird shade. Uh... Pink is. Ugh. Oh, oh, I'm using uh, advantage plus. Hold on. Sorry, that's incorrect. Because um, that first roll was a two. Yeah, I, I didn't realize I still had that turned on. I don't think that would have hit. I mean, 17 for the first one. 17. That just hit. It, 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 it just hits. Um. I'm trying to yeah that one so that, that one's auto twenty do it on each one. The twenty is fine because that was the first number. Uh, settings. Mary. 
Ugh, come on. Okay. Some nuts of it's thinking. I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Who am I? What am I? Okay. One. Okay. Okay, 14, then 19. Oh, it's a fail. And so those all hit, mm -hmm. so I'm going to roll 4d6. Twelve oh, extra sure. necrotic. All right, that is a good chunk. Would you like to do anything else on your turn? Um, no, I'm tapped out. Okay, great. Uh, the earth elemental will move at half speed. So there. One, two, three. You. And we'll take the action just just a dash. One, two, three. All right. Uh, the other rock elemental, who is now has caught your their your attention, is going to bonus action dash. I will say, um, the one slow does get a save. Yeah. All right. Thank at the you. end of its turn. Yeah, it does. Yep, yeah, it's not gonna make it. It's 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 a it's a freaking 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 thing. <laughs> Rock. Rock. How high up in the air are you, Tilda? I think she used um, fifty feet. Oh, you're back. Uh, no, yeah, I, I'm not. Uh, um, I wouldn't say fifty feet in the air. Um, I would say I moved fifty feet. But, uh, oh, hat. That's where I got 50. Yeah. Um, let's go with like probably 15. Okay. I don't want to be too high up. All right. So th with the dat with the bonus action dash, it will be able to move 80. So it will be right next to where you're technically, but you're in the air. So it will throw a rock in your direction. Wow. It went far. I really wish I had slowed that guy. Uh, one will miss. Uh, does a 24 hit your armor class? I think you know it does. Yep. Yes. Can't even shield it. It's just a rock. It won't hurt, right? Yeah, it's only 16 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay, that, that's not bad. It hurts, but it's not bad. I could take it. I'm still in triple digits. Nice. Okay. Um, the other one is still standing, I assume. Has anybody hit it since Zaitari left? Mm, no, we have no ways out of turn. Um, yeah. Which one? On the, the back end of this map. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. All right. No. Um, it's going to <sighs> even Zaitari. <sighs> even Zaitari. It's going to attempt to hit you. <laughs> if you uh, for some reason, Hades is using the uh, mess of cords that I have as a uh, bed <laughs> under my desk. <sighs> uh, does a 26 hit your armor class? That's the highest I got. The others won't touch you. Who is it hitting? Zaitari. Zaitari. Oh, why me? It's got other no, shit I mean, next to I it. mean Aoife. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. oh 26 <laughs> hits, yeah. Okay. Uh, that is 22 points of bludgeoning damage. Because, I, I mean, yes, it would have, but, you know. <laughs> Alright. Um, it is going to... I couldn't remember if you'd had a turn since you defense, yeah. defensive flourish, but also it wasn't attacking you. So yeah. it yeah. is going to nimbly separate. Um, so if you wish to take an opportunity attack against it, it will be at disadvantage, please. Who? Uh, this rock over here. The no, I mean, who's yeah. making the opportunity attack? I don't know. Do either of you want to do this? 
oh, there's that multiple one. options. Um, well, uh, yeah, I will. Okay. I'll go ahead and attack it. If you don't kill it, I'll go ahead and punch it. So disadvantage, please. Oh, not initiative. Sorry, I was trying to click on... That's where I put disadvantage on. And then, boop. Okay, that still hits. And uh, 25, will that be enough? Yes, it will be. Uh, it explodes. Awesome. All right, so we can take that guy off the order now. Uh, it is Evo's turn. All right, I'm going to run up into this house and do a scan. Um, I don't. I know we didn't hear any screaming. Mm -hmm. I just want to see if there's, you know, the possibility of a kid that I could stabilize or use a healing word on real fast before I zip out of here. Um. Uh, no. Okay. Um, I believe that was 50 feet. 55. It's all right. Right there. Okay, I'm running over to um, this spot then. And I'm going to do... I'll do two attacks against the bottom one, then three attacks against the right one. Okay. That will hit. Um, so that is 27, so 37. Okay. And three attacks, and then, yeah. And then two against the one to the right. Oh. Um, will that Not connect? great damage. They will connect, Pretty so that's 12. Bad damage. It's a lot of ones on my D10. That hurts. Um, is that your turn? Uh, that is my turn. Alright, this worm is... It's slowed. It is slowed. So it's gonna go underground. It goes... Good for it. Yeah, it goes, uh, it, it goes, uh, it, go, it will go poof now. It will still only do, uh, half its speed. Mm -hmm. And because of its, uh, ability, you don't know where it is. Hmm. That's I mean, fine. Also, it's underground, so we'd have a hard time anyway. Mm -hmm. Most of us don't have tremor sense. Uh, does Rain have tremor sense yet? Blind sense. Uh, I'm probably okay. only out to 10 feet. <clears throat> yeah, it's not very far. I think there's a giant worm 10 feet that way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and at the end of this turn, it will be able to. I mean, that gives you like an extra <sighs> second to jump on a chair Ladies. or something. Okay. Wires, wires are not toys. <laughs> but are you sure? Fun. They look like toys. If if why not for bed? Why made of warm? <laughs> Melanie, it's your turn. <sighs> oh, uh, I regret everybody's going away from me. Uh, oh, pretty fucking far away. Let me zoom out my map a little bit. Sorry, it gets a little angry and it tries to zoom really far. Um. Got it. No, not Odin. You're Hades. Damn it. Ugh. Uh, Mel is gonna do her jump, her Thunderbirds dive, and just go right there. Uh, okay. She's kind of like wave at everybody as she flies overhead. Okay. Um, because you guys have this handled, yeah? Yeah. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what the worm does. I thought. Oh, oh, yeah, you got it handled. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and attack this guy a couple of times. Okay. Did that hit twice? Yeah, yeah. and then... Uh... The tone in your voice, Jared, is the tone of a DM flipping to a new page of all the extra actions that weren't supposed to be introduced into the battle yet. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, I didn't think about that. Oh. Yeah, I was wondering where you were going, storm. and then I'm just like, oh, oh, okay, uh, we're doing this now. 
<laughs> Next to the Hellmouth and the Living Storm. <laughs> what we're gonna do? Take a short rest over there? Come on, guys. Come on. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. I'm going to commit suicide now. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, you do a, you do take a huge chunk out of that thing. Good. What is going through Rain's head <laughs> as Melanie just <laughs> just speed <Bigger>. runs this? <laughs> yes, I'm a single parent now. Yeet. <laughs> Like, well, guys, I guess we gotta find some diamonds. <laughs> I hope the life insurance <laughs> policy is up to date. Okay, <laughs> today's YouTube video. I'm gonna speed run. How to speed run a Hellmouth Storm Elemental. <laughs> see, the first thing we do is uh, we check and see how much the DM is twitching. <laughs> it's a small eye twitch, you can keep going. That's not too bad. The small twitch is alright. The good you thing is, the there's full on when she was like, oh, okay. Yeah, that was also supposed to be a, are you sure? Alright. <laughs> um, are you, are you done, Melanie? Melanie, are you done? Because, trust <laughs> me, you're done. <laughs> I made peace. <laughs> I assume you're done. Tilda! Yeah. Can you, can you hear me? No, we didn't hear you no, say it. Hear you. Oh, oh, I said, yeah, I'm done. I'm sorry. Okay, it's fine. Um, let's see. So we've got, uh... Well, gosh. Uh... Here's what I'm gonna do. I definitely put a lava plume an old magic cantrip into my uh, book mm -hmm. before we got here. Um, I'm going to put it right here, which means that Aoife does have to make a uh, dex saving throw. Okay. But if you really... I mean, I have confidence in you, but if you really don't want to bother uh you can have a 15 or a natural 20 and which i'm sure either one will i mean pass if, my I, 20. if i beef it i'll just use a key point and re-roll oh you sure yeah i, I have a plus 12 i mean I and plus they're a monk anyway so it's like yeah a yeah. plus 12 with evasion you pretty much fine especially since you can re-roll it yeah see again um, i i knew i had i'm like i have faith in you but I it just wasn't want to the make light sure. thing. Yeah, yeah, to offer. Yeah, no, it's it's fine with evasion. Just, just so just Tilda said. <laughs> oh, darlings, you want fire? Then have some fire. All right, yeah. it does fail. So, uh, both of them do. Uh, let me see. It probably does. They're yeah, they both fail. They're they're not the. Yeah, the this most... one's also slowed. So yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's super... for their wit or dexterity, yeah. typically. I mean, it's not like it's two fireballs from Nuked on High, like um, my dear sorcerer in our Saturday mm. game. <laughs> um, At least she nuked herself occasionally, you know. I mean, mm. it wasn't... Tilda, are you uh, are you happy where you are, and are you done? No, absolutely not. I'm okay. So. They both took 19 fire damage. Great. Love it. You'll love to see it. Um, let's see. Um, I would also... Hmm. Um, why is everything in action? Bless you? Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. why are these all actions? I tried to mute myself in time. My vitamin D pill got stuck in my throat. <laughs> oh, oh no! I hate uh, it when pills do that. Oh my god! Just the little tiny, like soft gel ones—they yeah. just get stuck. <laughs> uh, 
I, I have survived. A, We're good. I have a pill I take that's like a supplement, and so it's not like well made, and um, it's it like floats. Mm -hmm. And it yeah. makes it harder to swallow because it's just like floating on top of the water, and you're like, no, mm -hmm. that's not what I want you to do. Yeah, I essentially have to tilt my head forward with my, uh, because my uh, Prozac pills are like that, because they're like mm -hmm. gel capsules. So I just don't like gel capsules. I don't either. Gel it's capsules don't bother me. I don't like it when it's the really horrible cheap coating and it just starts dissolving on your tongue. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So we got some, um, you know, just like aspirin one time, and I was like, I don't like these. How are people looking in terms of uh, needing healing or anything like that? Uh, I'm about 40 down at this point, but I'm still in the triple dig uh, digits, so I'm still mm -hmm. good. Rain hasn't been hit yet, but. So, okay. nothing you can do. <laughs> yeah. Um. Mel's only been hit for like 20 points of damage. 80s. What? Sorry. I'm they said talking 80s. About, I thought I had my. Oh, I thought I you thought... said 80. And I was like, 80? What the no, fuck? No, no, did no, I, no. Miss? I said Hades. I, I thought oh. I had my mic still up uh, as well. Because somebody should not be playing in the wires. But it's Come here. fun. Um, Tilda. Yeah, sorry. I'm I'm trying to figure out what to do with my bonus action. I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> um. Ooh. Um. That is concentration, as is slow, but I think I'll be fine. Um. Fluffy tummy. Fluffy tummy. Fluffy tummy. <clears throat> Oh. Okay, I'm gonna cast a uh, fortunate fate on uh, Eva. Eva. Okay. Can I kind of smush over? Just go around this guy, not go out of his. I will go from like there to you know around. Oh my god. <laughs> this way. Oh my god. So I don't enter this guy's. Except for now, I am probably. I don't know. But anyway, um, fortunate fate to Aoife. Um, I am concentrating on both slow and this uh, because I am dual focus. Uh, attempt to cast a spell that requires concentration while you're concentrating on an existing spell. You can maintain concentration on both spells simultaneously. You must spend a standard action each subsequent round on maintaining this concentration or lose concentration on both spells. At the end of each turn, where you have two spells you are concentrating on, you must make a con saving throw. Uh, DC equals 10 plus the number of complete rounds you've been concentrating on two spells. On a failure, you lose concentration. So right now, it's 11, literally unless I roll a 1. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so sounds good. That is all of my turn. Rain, what would you like to do? Uh, I guess I'm hoofing it, so let's see. Make sure. Okay, I can get there. Pretty clean, 60 feet. Uh, plus a bonus action dash. And it'll leave me another four. So I will attack. Okay. Vintage. I'm playing with the cats with a ribbon toy, and Hades just has his claw stuck in the one thing, and I was just moving it up and down. I was like, I've caught a cat. <laughs> right, so that's when it's um. I always used to like to pretend, you know, my cat was aerobicizing or something, like up and down and up and down and move that tail and move that paw. <laughs> Is that your turn, Rain? Yeah, so 88 damage. Um, and she then, didn't like that. <laughs> so that was melee attack, extra melee attack, bonus action do you like dash. Other size? So we'll we'll uh, we'll hit it with the old mind sliver again. Oh, 
four, thirteen right. psychic damage. 13 and damage. Uh, D4 saving throw if it has to make a save by the end. Okay. Of the turn. Sounds good. Is it? it? It might be. Um. So the primordial matriarch. <laughs> That sounds great. We've activated the final Excuse boss me? way too fast. Is going to burst out a cone, a uh, 90 foot cone, <sighs> in Melanie's direction. Melanie, I would, I would, I would like you to make a dexterity saving throw, please. By the way, if uh, this whole thing doesn't end with Melanie taking hold of the storm over here, a la uh, the end of Hercules, Hercules, and just swinging it around her head. <laughs> oh. And then sending it off into the cosmos. We'll I'm going to be so disappointed. Saving goes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> true, true. <laughs> That's fair. <Ooh. laughs> oh. Yikes. I could have given you a natural 20. Why didn't you ask? Oh, I didn't think I needed it. I found a plus three. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> three to dexterity, so, exactly. I, I would like you to put, please take um, 22 points of cold damage. Okay, okay. Uh, not too bad. You are currently restrained by ice until the end of your next turn. Or some, okay. or if somebody else frees you. Okay. Uh, then it's going to fly about right there. <laughs> oh, so... I did not think it's I was supposed storm. to aggro this thing. Yeah, it's but, the uh, literal you're also storm. Giant. And oh. it's going to use its tornado -y and fiery and lightning y arms and lash at you twice. Sure, 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 sure. That's a lot of elements. You're a gigantic woman right now, Melanie, in full armor. You just flew across the sky. Do you, uh, <laughs> you uh, got does his attention. A 25 hit your armor class? Give me one second. I'm seeing if I have still have that one cast of shield. My cast have formed a triangle. Okay, I've got Featherfall. No, I don't still have shield. Okay. Um, there for a little while I had a token of shield, I swear, but I don't have it anymore. So, no, yeah, you I'll use it. I think I remember. Yeah. So, a 25 does hit? Yeah, okay. yeah, because I don't have a shield option, yes. Uh, so, 20 points of bludgeoning. Uh, have to 10. Uh, 16 points of cold. Okay. Oh, hold on. Uh, instead of doing that, I actually just moved my map somehow. Uh, uh minus 16. Okay. Uh, for its second attack, I assume a 29 hits your armor class. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's not a crit, though, right? No. Okay. Because I would have luckied or something, but that's not... It's fine. Uh, so, uh, 26 points of bludgeoning damage. Which would have to 13, okay. Uh, and 17 points of cold damage. 17 or 70? 17. That would be fucking intense. Yeah, that's yeah. orders of magnitude different, so I wanted to double check. <laughs> Especially because this is part of a multi-attack. Um, and... I mean, that's still a not insignificant amount of damage altogether. No, no, but if it was 70 on a multi-attack, that'd be fucked up. I'd be yeah. more worried. It's like, okay, I'm gonna now jump back out of this combat. Goodbye, I mean, everybody. I'm not a coward. I just might be more worried. I'm not gonna leave. <laughs> Come on. Okay. 
Uh, that is its turn. Uh, there so, is a since rage... it's the end of its turn, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna just try this out. I'm gonna stone rune. It no, needs to God. make a DC 19 wisdom save. This would be hilarious. So it does make that. Damn. That's fine. That's fine. Can you imagine trying to charm a storm? <laughs> Probably immune anyway. Okay, continue. Sorry. That's fine. That's fine. Um. Okay. Uh, just hey, pretty mama, how's it going? <laughs> right. You just wink at it, and it's like, okay. oh, the belt of cord. Or the sword of cord, wow! <laughs> so, oh, getting all hot and bothered. Whew. Uh, Zaitari. Um, alright, so since this uh, Earth Elemental's still up, I'm gonna, um, ping it a couple more times. I'm gonna move first. Um, gonna see, I can go 40 feet. I'm gonna go right there. Um, so I'll curve some, uh, Eldritch Blasts at it. Uh, my shoe's loading. Get the ribbon. Get the ribbon. Get the ribbon. <sighs> it's like I have a summoning triangle of cats. Um... I really have a cat beside me that's in a very large dog bed. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking about getting them a large dog bed so that they can cuddle together because they're because uh, the kittens are getting bigger. They don't fit like they used to to cuddle on the beds anymore. Uh, that was towards the Earth Elemental, right? Yeah, the one I have hexed. Okay, it's uh, it's dead now. Oh, okay. With the second head or the first head? The first. Oh, okay. Then um. Do you I'm want gonna... the second hit to go to the rock? Uh, slide elemental. Yeah. yeah. Okay, second hit that kills it. Uh, cool. Um, pew, pew, pew. I think I think I'm in range. Uh, oh. I gotta roll oh. for that. Elemental 120 feet, there. son of a bitch. Um, I'll use my uh, bonus action to uh, teleport myself to get a little bit closer to everything. Okay. Um, as soon as I can minimize my sheet again. Uh, I'll put myself... I got 20. Right there. Um, and do some pew pew pew. Well, I'll do my last two pew pews at this earth elemental over here. Uh, you want this one, the one? Over yeah, here? the green, oh, uh, okay. the one in the yeah, the one right next to the big ass storm. Okay. Okay, so that is forty. All right, great. Um, and that's the end of my turn. Cool. Um, it is going to, um, spit out as a, a legendary action. It's going to spit out two more Earth Elementals. These will go on another initiative. Actually, I'm going to make them... Ah! Sorry. <laughs> Uh, yellow. And it's not an initi initiative score. And they will go next turn at that number. Okay, I'll keep it over here. All I right. didn't even notice Dimitri blended in with the uh, cubby. He's like Eva. half mostly in. Um, I am and I am Um, I'm going to, I'm going to have to trip, like, double dash to get over here, but I will. <laughs> um, action, bonus action to dash and plant myself behind this elemental across from Mel. Okay. 
so Melanie isn't all on her lonesome over here. Okay. Uh, the sack worm is going to move very slowly. One, two, three, four. <laughs> and see if it saves. It does not. Against 20. Yep. No. Um, and that's its turn. Uh, the earth... I'm gonna BRB. Okay. The, uh, the, 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 the ones that were out, the earth elementals that are already out, um, are gonna move. Uh... Why are they before us on the initiative if they're at three? Oh. Sorry. Melanie, it is your turn. What would you like <laughs> to do? <laughs> oh. Um... Well, you are restrained. I'm gonna, yep, that's fine. I'm going to use my action, and I'm going to activate um, my storm avatar. Okay. Um, and then, um, <laughs> as a bonus action, because I think I can do it on the one that I I know I can do it afterwards. Let me see if I can do it on the when I started on, because I've got a better text than that. I've got two texts of this. That's the same text. Anyway, uh, da -da 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 -da, as a bonus action. Yeah, so I'll go ahead and do the lightning bolt on the green one down here. I think it's been hit already. Okay, yep, it definitely uh, has been hit. So it's a 19 if it doesn't. Yeah, so plus 19. Wait still standing. That's fine. That's my turn. Okay. Uh, Tilda. Right. Okay. Um. <laughs> You'd expect it to go, oh, you're a storm too? We shouldn't be fighting. Mm. Uh, that's my next action. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, I'm going to, fly to this rooftop, if I can. Okay. Maybe, like, land here? Mm-hmm. I think that's about where it was. Um, and honestly, I'll be uh, I'll be completely honest here. I am just now getting the size differential between the big ass storm and me, <laughs> little tiny Tilda. Um, but anyway, uh, I would like. Ooh. Rage, but I can't. Can um, rage quietly on the inside. I'm always doing that. Um. Hang on, sorry, I, I'm... All of my spells If I may crap. make a joke, which I am late for, because I was unable to talk. Uh, mm. The ultimate bard move, if Melanie was a bard, would be to try to seduce the storm. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh... Um, oh, 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 
Damn it. Mm. What's wrong? I'm trying to... I'm just... My spells just yeah. are being... Okay. Hmm. Do I sense that this uh, primordial ma matriarch has any sort of intelligence? Yes. To it? Yes. <laughs> yes. Really? Mm hmm. Okie dokie. In that case, um. Hmm. Okay, wait. It's a. One of those. Hmm. Um. 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 Okay. Uh. I'm going to save that for later. Um, and I'm going to... Instead do... You know, just a real quick um, mind spike on the... Uh... Memorial Matriarch? Yeah. Okay. Or actually, no, I'm sorry. I totally forgot. Um, I have to keep my, uh, I have to keep concentrating on... On slow. On slow and, um, fortunate favor, whatever it is. Okay. Uh, on Aoife. Yeah, I have to use a, a, my action to do that. Um, fortunate fate. Excuse me. That's what's on Aoife right now. Okay. So what would you like to do? Um, so I will use my action to do that, and um, I will use a bonus action to um, uh, how's Melanie looking? Not um, great, if I remember correctly. Uh, round what round halves? These one hundred eight. Okay. Um. But I currently take half damage from bludgeoning, and I take no damage from lightning. Though they haven't done any lightning yet, so that might not matter. It's a picture of lightning, but I, I think that it's just supposed to be a storm. Mm -hmm. um, or the concept. How's Zaitari? Oh, I'm fine. I have taken no damage. And how's Aoife? Uh, like I said, I took about forty-ish. I'm still in the triple digits, so. Okay. Uh, yeah, I can't really. Um. Then you know what? I will use the wand of healing word on myself. Okay. Sounds good. Just one charge for a couple of hit points. Because goodness knows I will end up. Cass, get out Probably there. getting somebody's catching, you know, something's ire and being like them being like, hey, um let's go take care of that tiny wizard on the roof there. <laughs> um, and that's the end of my turn though. Okay. Uh sounds good. Um this guy's gonna dash over there. Can't do anything on this turn. Um, Rain, what would you like to do? Uh, I'm gonna be real smart and run up and melee. Um, movement, bonus action dash, uh, extra action dash. That was tricking me there. A little spare. 
Um, let me pack. Chaos, come on. Alright, so that one with the first hit is gone. Um... It's gonna take like um, two steps back, and that'll be my end of my turn. All right. I gotta check something. Um, if I move further back enough. Please scream inside your heart. <laughs> sure, yeah. That's controllable. <laughs> yeah. Maybe just don't go to the goddamn theme park. Well, right. during coronavirus. You know? I, I, I don't remember when during the whole thing that was, but I just loved the scream inside your heart. That was adorable. Doesn't matter. In 2020, that whole year was basically <clears throat> I think the problem is going to the theme park I don't know how much yes see on the but the ride so I don't think screaming is the issue you know yeah, yeah honestly when your <laughs> breath is moving away from you probably really rapidly so yeah but, but it's also the... hitting everybody else in the well yeah but being in a crowd is the problem mm -hmm. yeah but on a on a 70 mile per hour ride or something Oh yeah, no, it's more on the uh, on the line yeah. to and from and all of that than the actual ride itself. No screaming in line, just scream inside. One second. Okay, so I mean you why would you scream when you're in line? Okay, so just yeah, so I'm, just, just, just so I'm not bullshitting everybody. <laughs> okay. Zaitara, you are currently ninety foot ninety feet away from the storm. Uh-huh. Rain is currently well, in yeah. in, in the line of in so from rain to Zaitari, it is ninety feet. Okay. Oh, yay. This is a ninety foot cone. <laughs> yeah, oh, nice. they're fucking huge. So essentially I can get Tilda, Zaitari, Melanie, I think Ifa is just out of range. So because if I did so Derek can wait for this day. Ninety it's like the bullet 90, grazed past Aoife. 90, yeah, so <laughs> everybody but Aoife pretty much I can get in this. Okay. Um, acid rain starts falling from the matriarch, so... Oh, nice. no. Don't like that. Don't like that at all. Um, I would like everybody but Aoife to make a dexterity saving throw. Wow. That gets out of your shit. Um, it could be like poison rain. <laughs> it's acid rain. Acid rain. Acid rain. I'm indomitable just in case. I mean, you know what? No, <sighs> oh, I made it worse. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, are you sure you want to do that? That's pretty high for you. <sighs> Not great at math right now. So. I'm going to take my uh, natural 20 okay. that I rolled for my portent roll and use it uh, for this dex check or this doing, dex Dimitri? save. So that's 23. Okay. Uh, so you take half. Everybody takes half, uh, except for Melanie. Drax. Would I have taken half if I had an indomitable on a 17? Now you wouldn't have taken half. All right, cool. So I was fucked either way. I'm good with that. Did you say how much damage are you still calculating? I'm still, I'm still calculating. Uh, so 13, 14, 15, uh, so it is um, nine points of acid damage. Oh. And 
for for Melanie, it would be nineteen points of acid damage. I still technically have my uh, armor back this up, but it most so it's mostly I. melted away. And um, Melanie, at the start of your turn, you will take an additional four points of acid damage until um, until uh, another creature takes an action to scrape or wash off the acid. So and you're Melanie ginormous. Is, Melanie is frozen in place yep. and now being melted by acid. Mm-hmm. Great. Oh, if you're frozen in place. Could you even? We we need dexterity? to find something to give you be better dexterity saving throws before we fight the old one, or you're gonna get fucked. Yeah, my dex is not great. My dex saves are not super duper. Uh, it's gonna come back. It's got the reach, but not the flexibility. No, <laughs> no, no. Yeah, it's gonna come back, and it's going to attempt to lash you twice. Lash who? Melanie. Melanie. Of course. Of course it's Melanie. She's right. She's the biggest target on the field. Um, I have a 36 and a 26. Cool, mama. So, so I assume that 36 hit. that 36 isn't a crit, right? Nope, it's not a crit. Okay. Uh yeah, that's both it. Okay. You guys think I can just punch a storm? Do you think that's something I can do? I mean, look. On my next you turn, I'm going to try some ghosts, so I don't see why not. True. I mean, even ghosts I mean, that have stuff a bit that more I might turn try my next turn might be a death save. So, but I'm... 36 yep. points of bludgeoning, so that's halved for you, correct? Yeah. So okay. that's 18. What? 36 halved is 18. Oh, I, m I missed the first original number. Okay, 18. Odin. Uh, 20 points of acid damage. Okay. Computer tower is not chair. Is warm, though. <sighs> Come on. Why chair shaped and warm? Mm -hmm. <sighs> there we go. So 25 bludgeoning half <sighs> to 12. So, so far, she's taken 30 points from this lashing. Mm -hmm. Plus the 19 from... There's more acid damage coming. Yep. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, uh, no, 25 points play. of acid damage. Okay, one second, one second, one second. Uh, so that's not including... Okay. 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 That's not great. No, no, it's not. Um. Okay, and that is that thing's turn. Zachary. Um. <clears throat> I meant to open. Um, I should have to get it to load, but kind of spaced out with all the damage that was being dealt to Melanie's body. <laughs> she, she, she takes her tanking tanking uh, role very, very well. seriously. It's like, I will make myself the biggest target and the slowest moving thing so that everything hits me. <laughs> Sorry, it's uh, blue wheeling me. Okay. Um, what's the range on this? 60 feet? So, yeah, okay. you noticed the first time around, she's blasted by code, mm -hmm. and she was hit with cold. Second time around, she's blasted by acid, and then lashed by acid. Mm -hmm. Just saying. Yeah, that makes mm -hmm. sense. Um... What, trying makes to find, sense. like, what am I missing? the corner that's the furthest away from all of the bullshit... Uh, but it can't be on the other side of the river. Yeah, it was a 90-foot cone. Everything's in the bullshit. No, I know, but I'm just trying to be, like, the max amount of distance away from this fucking thing. Um, because I can't... I'm on the, essentially, the wrong side of the river to... Oh, wait. <laughs> okay, let's go. All right, I'm going to go right here. Okay. Um, 
I'm going to transfer my hex to it with my bonus action. Okay. Actually, no, I'm not going to. I'm going to hold on that. Okay. Hold on. Because I'm going to do, uh, I'm, I'm doing the side of the cross, doing a Hail Mary. Uh, not Zaitari, but me. Because uh, I'm going to roll, I'm going to do Dominate Monster on this thing. Um, save, <laughs> damage. I, that's an accident. I actually. You should make a wisdom save. Okay. I was thinking of doing the exact same thing, I'll be honest. So, it it, it's, it would have been a 21 wisdom save for this uh -huh. thing. Uh, but it I'm will, guessing it's gonna... It's, he's gonna use a legendary resistance. Damn. Okay. It would have been great. It would have. Yeah. It would have been really good. Too great. Yeah, I wanted to dominate it and essentially mentally tell it to go back to its home plane. <laughs> yep. Go home. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> Please go away. Just go uh, home. Go home. We don't want you here. We don't want to hurt you. Go away. Shoo, shoo. <laughs> um, okay. Um, all right. Then with my bonus action, I'm going to give, because uh, Melanie, well, actually, let me make sure she's in range here. I think so. Uh, if we need to quit, yeah, we can okay. continue with this later. This uh, is going to be giving... a long fight. Yeah, I'm giving really? Melanie... Um, a bardic inspiration, so you have a d12. <laughs> to use at your leisure, as needed. I didn't even realize it was 12. Damn. Yep. Um. Eva. Uh, I'm going to. Um, how tall is this like wall thing right here? Ten feet. Okay, more than enough. Um, I'm getting on top of the wall. I'm running up to the storm. I guess I'm gonna try and punch the storm a bunch. Okay. <laughs> uh, stun it, please stun it. <laughs> this thing probably is like a plus twenty to Constitution saving throws. Listen, it would be fucking amazing. Also, it would eat its uh, legendary saves. I see the fourteen misses. Ah, uh, fourteen does miss. It's ginormous. How do you miss? Oh my god. Oh wow. Okay, that Ooh, does okay. hit. Well, the twenty-two. So that's uh. 17. I mean, have you ever punched a storm? Come on, it's difficult. Um, Efa. Yeah. Uh, when you punch the storm, oh, no. there's electricity, oh, no. fire, acid that, well, acid this time around, that um, that uh, that 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 hurts you back. Uh, so. Uh, you just had to jump ahead, didn't you, Lynn? So uh, <laughs> that hits. So that's thirteen points of acid damage. 13. Yes. Okay. You missed the other two, so you did not get acid on your hands. Well, great news for me, I'm attacking two more times with the flurry of blows. Aren't you... Can't you take resistance to some elemental damage, or does it I have to be use... triggered by a specific thing? So I can deflect. Ah, uh, that's it. Okay. Which is a reaction, which I kind of want to hold on to my reaction in case I get coned. Uh, this... Yeah. The 18 will not hit. The night 29 does, and I just... Okay. Uh, please take six additional points of acid damage. Okay, I'm punching it, and you're just, every time even finally connects, just ow. Ow, <laughs> ow, ow, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just getting sprayed. Cool. <clears throat> Ouchies. Um, that's my action, bonus action, and full movement. Okay, great. Uh, the worm, who is still somewhere on this map... <laughs> Somewhere in slow. One, two, three. It's four. like I'm coming, I'm coming. Then once everything's done, it pops out. It's like, what's up? We're gonna kill the patriarch, and we're all gonna be on like two hit points. And then this worm's finally gonna save and bust out of the ground. All right, uh, Dude, it's all it's all done. Actually, for kill stealing the whole party. Uh, you're not wrong. <laughs> That's what's going to save the planet, this worm. <laughs> <laughs> that The worm is speedrunning, becoming a god. So, let me just write down. One legendary resistance use. Uh, this is turn three for the worm saves. 
cool. Um, Melanie, how, how are you doing? All right, so first things first, I am going to go ahead and use my bonus action to second wind. <laughs> okay. Uh, so that's yeah. actually, I misclicked. I misclicked. Uh, uh, 19's not great, but it, oh my god, it's actually as low as it can possibly be. Uh, I don't, you can't lucky just a thing, can you? <laughs> I don't think so. It's not anyway. a 20 roll. Yeah, yeah, it's not. It's oh, not. it's your All turn, right? right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How many points do I take? 20? Uh, Four. You take six points of acid damage. Six. Okay. All right. I well, that was four. Four. That's half of my existing hit points. I have That's to okay. roll dice. You said uh, it was four, though. You said it was four. It's not a big deal. Uh, and then plus 19. Or did you say it was 1d4 so... plus something? Oh, that might have been what she said. Um, so... I'm at 25. Um, <laughs> so I am currently in like the storm avatar thing. So you ax and you so that that was a bonus action, right? Okay. Uh, that was you, an action on my last turn. Okay. <clears throat> and um, you were restrained, me... so you would have to take an action to get unrestrained. Here. Yes, I have not. I've I've only taken a bonus action of a second win, so okay. I don't. I think I can do that one with. I can do that with restrained. I think. Okay. Cool. Um, let me. I I've got to find the text of something really fast, and I'm. Why am I having a hard time finding? There it is. Okay, I moved my bookmarks around, and I couldn't find the um, spell thing I used. Bless you. Bless you. I don't know what I have, but it's not COVID. <laughs> Not okay, it's a 10 minute casting, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'm going to shout with as much, like, uh, massive size and might and, like, any, like, cordness I can channel and uh, <laughs> scream at the storm. <laughs> uh, storm versus storm, leave everyone else out of this. And try to get it to fight me. Okay. Uh, uh. <laughs> so it's to be an it's intimidation. No one else will respect it. Sure. All right. All right. Let's go. <laughs> so I'm gonna give you this. You have a feeling that it doesn't speak common. Oh damn. <laughs> I mean, as a storm avatar, is there any chance that uh, <laughs> it understood it the term like prime or something? Can you just it's like the, the DVD screen saver just hits the corner just right and everything is perfectly clear and they understand each other? Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Well, that's a bummer of an action, but that's my turn. It's fine. Tilda! <laughs> somewhere else baby you can't have this um okay hey you can't have that either that's not for kitty cats get out of here crimes crimes, crimes. <laughs> okay cool um all right hang on um God, this worm is pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've just been, been moving it back and fucking forth. <laughs> a couple of days ago, I put out a brand new roll of paper towels, speaking of cat crimes, and when I woke up in the morning, there were just cat bites all over it. That's oh, art. <laughs> what? Who is, why do you want to bite paper towels in the middle of the night? Because it feels good to their mouths. Who knows? It has to. That has to be. He just likes to, when he opens his mouth as big as he can and then he chomps it. I've seen him do it. And it's like, yeah. ridiculous looking. Every cat is just a slave to texture. <laughs> they love texture. That's why they lick plastic. They chew on paper. Oh, they man. Uh, Leia's favorite thing in the whole world feathers. is my nail file. Yep. I have to keep it in a box because otherwise she just licks it until it's disgusting. Yeah, they love texture. They're, cats are essentially just people with like uh, 
very specific sensory needs. And once they find it, they latch the fuck on, baby. So what you're saying is all cats are autistic. Yes. <laughs> I was going to say I felt offended by that statement, but I was like, no, nah, this is real off. All right, real so so um, are you losing, what are you losing concentration on? I believe that's both of them. Okay. Uh, Shit. So the slow and the fortunate thing. Okay, got it. Yeah. Um, okay. Yep. Oh boy. Was trying to concentrate on both and yeah. Uh, give me a Especially second. Why I little... never wanted to do that talent. I just feel like it's too much to lose sometimes. Oh, it's a lot I of mean... pressure. Yeah, exactly. It's just a lot of pressure. I mean, my con, my con save is. Plus ten, so yeah, like, like yeah, it's, it's just great. really unfor like it's unlikely to happen for Tilda, yeah. but when it does, it sucks ass. Yeah, actually, don't you have advantage on con saves to? Do you, don't you have forecaster? Uh, yeah, I do yeah, technically. Yeah. Um, I think, yeah, that's yeah, probably the advantage. Yeah, saving so, those yeah. that you make to maintain your concentration. Yeah, go ahead. On a spell when you take damage. Oh, never mind. Oh. Ah. Yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah, that, that, that was that. all instances of concentration, sorry. Yeah. I is mean... Is just because basically every concentration check is going to be when you take damage, though? Is it just trying to explain what a concentration check is? Well, because until this, the feat that the dual focus... The... Exactly. Is, you yeah. only made concentration checks when you took damage, so... Mm -hmm. I mean, I I think it's a DM call. Uh, I mean, it's... it's obviously, it's a weird interaction from a homebrew, technically, or a third-party Yeah, it uh, specifically feed, so. says damage, so I'm gonna have to, like... That's fair. Yeah. Uh... Yep. Yeah, so uh, uh, on a failure, you lose concentration for both spells. You can drop concentration on one of your spells during your turn as a free action to avoid the saving throw, but I didn't, so... Um, you should not stunned or something. That would suck ass. No, oh, yeah. I'm not. Yeah, that's why I'm reading it to sort of, like, I'm not, right? Like, I don't have that haste Like, nothing thing else, like, like, really bad happens. It's yeah. Just that you it's lose concentration really on both. Like, damn it. Um, yeah, so, um, ba -ba 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 um, is it your action to maintain concentration or was yeah. it just, uh, okay, yeah. Yeah, so I'm looking through to try to find, uh, bonus actions. I could recast, uh, Fortunate Fate, um... But I don't uh, think Melanie's anyone's also within... mega mega hurting. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm um, down to twenty five hit points. I know, but at this point, at this point, you're so far so far down that yeah, it's pretty much just like a, you thick. need a heal. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. You you need heal or uh, which is an action, or no, I. Fine. just bring you up when you're Yeah, you get the defibrillator down. treatment now. That's yeah. okay. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at right and now. And honestly, I might not take that much more damage. Right. Like, I might make my whatever, you know. I mean, it depends on whether or not it tries to just hit you again. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, but then the problem is the uh, three... Really high to hit. I'm guessing it's uh, got at least 20 or something. The yeah. three earth elementals are now... Them Good too. To oh. So. Um. Uh. Okay. Uh. 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 Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Uh. Is the storm within sixty feet of me? Nope. This guy is, though. Um, doesn't seem worth it. <sighs> Freaking hell. Um, you know what? I will just... I will send some healing over <clears throat> to... Uh, 
to uh to Mel. Um Were you think gonna say that idiot? No, I wasn't. I <laughs> I promise, but um it's it's weird because I have an aunt named Melanie. And so whenever I say your name, I think of her. And so it, like, oh. it kind of has a, uh, I'm like, no, don't say, that. wait, no, that is, that is the character's name. I'm allowed to say that. <laughs> <laughs> um, hang on. What is it? 1d4 plus. Uh, so, uh, God damn it. You know what? Fuck it. You're only getting one thing of healing word right now because I can't fucking figure this out. It's past midnight. We need to go to bed. Alright. So yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll have the Earth Elementals go and then it will be like we'll we'll skip mm -hmm. we'll 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 postpone to next week. Um alright, so you're all set. The Earth Elementals that weren't spat out. Um That one is gonna. Well, that's a giant hole, so it's going to. What's this freaking movement speed? It's uh, 60, so it'll go. Well, it's 30, so it'll go 60. Oh, I don't want it to be in the space, so it'll be. It'll make its way around downtown. Places path. Yep. Going fast and I'm homebound? Yep. Um, this one is going to attempt to hit Melanie. Ding it, ding it, ding, 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 ding. Thank you. Uh, Melanie, does a 26 hit your armor class? Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yep. Um, yeah, you wrote 35. Um, uh, let me see. Um, I need to see what the range is on this one spell that I have. So, 14 bludgeoning damage, so half to 7. Okay. Alright. And the other one, and the other slam won't hit. Um, I mean, that healing uh, word took most of the brunt of that, so I appreciate it. Blink. You're welcome. <laughs> Let me scroll, damn it! Eight, four, uh, twenty-three. I assume doesn't hit. Twenty-three is my AC. Okay. Uh, twelve bludgeoning damage, so half to six, and okay. natural one, so six, just six. All right, all right, and we will continue this uh, next time. Um, I as... want to try. I want to see if I could do Guardian of the Living, but my uh, browser is currently blue wheeling. Okay, that's well. well we will we will come back. Um, and we just uh, nope. write it in the chat okay. so you don't forget. Not not in range. Not in range. It doesn't matter. Uh -oh. It has to be thirty feet. So that's what I thought. I just wanted to check. So that is it. <laughs> I'm just gonna type that for myself. Okay. Cool. Hmm. I'm sorry. I have to. I have to. Uh, no, to I remember. know. I know. I uh, you should probably type again, Melanie, that that pink is uh, bardic inspiration. inspiration. Good idea. Alright. Uh, I will see you all what? next week. Um, have a good night. Yep. Uh, have a good night. Yeah. Thanks thank for, the you game. for the game. Yep. Yep. Yeah, thank you for the game. Mm -hmm. Bye. Night. <laughs> night. <laughs>